was waiting on you to clap. Hey, everybody. Hey. Yeah. How are you guys doing today? And Godly Geeks here. Hey, we're back. We're doing things. Also, I've already clapped, Luke. I know, but I thought you would clap again. I don't you know why I would. Before. Uh, I line all the matter. video up, chop up what I need to, and move on. Come on, man. I fuck. Gotta teach Luke about the editing process. You don't. Luke doesn't fucking care. Yeah, Luke needs to care, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm doing it all myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, though. I mean, I, I I do somewhat enjoy it, so it's all good. But there's going to be that one week where I'm not going to be around like, oh, shit, Luke's like, what am I going to do? I mean, I'll figure it out. Yeah. I've edited before. Maybe. Small stuff. A little bit. I'll be honest, there won't be video that week or it just won't be synced. <laughs> You'll see the video the just plays. You'll it's a the puppet. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You know what? We should, we should, we should seriously do that house. one day. We should seriously do a puppet episode. Lots of fun for guys and gals. We just record the audio and then later record video, and this is that's it's just, just a it. puppet back and forth. It's just two puppets, like sock puppets too, like mm-hmm. really shittily made sock puppets. Like we're using old socks that we found at the bottom of someone's drawer. Them. Yeah, it's not even an eye. one of them doesn't even have a left eye. Yep, it just has like a right eye, but that right eye is like a little like pom pom. I don't know, <laughs> whatever those little fuzzy balls are. Yeah. That we glued a googly eye to. <laughs> a googly eye. It doesn't move, so it's always stuck in the wrong way. <laughs> it's stuck looking up and to the left. Yep. It's like Thor's eye. <laughs> At first. He got it right. Yeah. You know, he had to smack himself in the head a few times, but he got it right. Yeah, man. So, news of the stupid this week. Uh, this is actually from a couple weeks ago, but there's a law that... Uh, Grand Rapids is considering passing, which would make it illegal to call police on people of color for participating in their lives. Yeah, Sharon. Yeah, you know, like, like gosh, Sharon. Fucking Karen. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Becky. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's like, you know, you're the honey to speak with your manager haircut. Oh, my God. Like, it, it's just, it's really stupid that this is even an issue. Like, like, because you see that story where the lady called the police on the black people at the barbecue. Yeah. They were at a park in a public place having a barbecue. Mm. Where's the crime? Just leave them the fuck alone. Seriously, mind your own fucking business, bitch. Yeah. You, gotta, you just got a family, man. They're doing a the thing. They're Look, not... if they're dumping hot coals on the ground or something like that, you see that at a park? Fine. Yeah. And you go fucking let somebody know, but you don't have to fucking stick around and, like approach them and harass them and shit right which is generally what happens it's like what is wrong with white people these days i don't i don't don't understand in those news stories i haven't seen one of those stories that i can think of in a while what i'm wondering is did grand like it's grand rapids just a place where this happens all the time i mean maybe the fact that they're sitting there (laughs) considering putting an ordinance in that makes it a misdemeanor to do this yeah like i don't get it like why why is a problem i'm kind of it's they like there's there's laws against calling the police for no reason anyway. Like, yeah. you can get a ticket for that. Right. So, I'm wondering why they just don't hold them under that. Like, I guess because technically they have a reason, even if it's a stupid-ass one. I mean, yeah, you, you're calling the police because there's a suspicion that uh, someone is doing something illegal. Okay, I guess it's a suspicion. I guess, I guess, that's, what the, yeah. I guess that's how it Or falls. a complaint. Or a complaint. It's a complaint. It's always a complaint. I mean, I still remember there was a story of a dude at a McDonald's who called, complained about either he didn't get his food right or they didn't, it took too long, something like that. Yeah. yeah and he, I, if I remember right, that guy ended up getting a ticket. Guy or girl, whatever it was. This is an old, old yeah, story. Yeah, I remember that story. And I think, yeah, something, I don't know. Like, it's just, I, it's just so stupid, though. I just, I just saw. Like, this is, this is so stupid. Like, like, have we not come far enough as a species that we can go, hey, maybe we should let people be people and live their lives? Yeah. I mean, it's obvious. It's 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 some people that feel like they have to go out of their way to, yeah, yeah. I don't know, even right a wrong or like, it's just. But what's the wrong? There, um, I don't it's know. perceived. That's what, what I need. I, mean. I need not, to know what the wrong is. There's nothing like, there. Like, for what's them. wrong with black people being in a public place? Doing a family a gathering barbecue, yeah. or having a party that's not raucous, like they're not they're not disturbing anybody. They're not trashing the place. They were grilling. Yeah, they were having a. I think it was a family reunion or a little just a little picnic gathering type deal. 
What the fuck is wrong with that? And then again, and again, it wasn't what like... What the fuck is wrong with that? It wasn't like she fucking saw them doing something wrong and called the cops and was like, hey, yeah, you might want to check this out. And then left. No. You know, she fucking like was, you all can't do that here. You can't be here. I'm calling the police. Fuck off. Why can't they be here? Just fuck off. Why, 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 Becky? Why can't they be here, Becky? Yeah. Especially because those... the park had those grills, the built-in yeah, they, ones there. Yeah, they did. That are obviously there for a reason. Or at least if they're if you're not allowed to grill on them, put a fucking sign. Have the city take them out or put a sign up or something. Like Jesus fucking Christ! All right, let's move on. Um, yeah, those stories are really fucking annoying. It's just one of those things that annoyed me, and I decided I I I, I saw this story. I'm like, yeah. I the one that kills me that. was the uh, the little girl selling lemonade. Well, no, that was water. She was selling water. water. Water bottles because it was there was some event happening where people were going down the street. And she was trying to raise money to go to Disney World or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and it was really hot that day, and there was some something going on, like you said, yeah. that was going to require water or something. Like, the people walking and stuff, that, so there's people around. And the lady's like, she's like, well, she was being loud. And it's like, okay, ask them to be quiet. If not, file a noise complaint. You don't need to fucking cause a huge, big disturbance. You don't need to it's have not. a little 11-year-old girl arrested for being exactly, noisy. Exactly, like going fucking crazy about all this shit. I mean, like, I remember when I was a kid, man, you had those people that would yell at, yell at kids for being kids. Yeah. They're outside. going to be loud. They're going to be noisy. They're just going to be laughing and giggling and screaming yeah. and yelling. Like, that's what we do when we're children. Yeah. And, it, uh, of course, this one still had that racial connotation there because you know it was there. You, yeah. you know it was there. Come on. So stupid. So fucking stupid. All right. Um, I don't know if there's anything, any other stupid things I wanted to talk about. Uh, uh, oh, well, this, Razor Toaster. The, that's just... Razor is going to make a toaster. Um, I, uh, we don't know the exact timeline. Uh, Wasn't this a, an internet thing? Like, they wanted... The, like, people were demanding it or something? Was it an basically, April Fool's prank they had? What the um, fuck? Basically, yeah, a number of years ago, like five, six years ago, something like that, they um, they did like an April Fool's prank where mm-hmm. they were going to release a toaster, and they had like a legit toaster uh, with RGB and headphone jack, USB, and all this stuff, Jesus and um, it burned the Razor logo into the toast. Yeah. It still toasted the bread, but it... it, it yeah, it's like one of those novelty toasters right? Um, toasts Jesus onto the bread. Well, somebody, uh, somebody did it, and... FP page, someone started a Facebook page to give us a razor toaster and asked the CEO, mean, meanly and Tang, about the possibilities of having one. And uh, he basically said, if you get one million likes, we'll do it. And another stipulation, he said, uh, if you get a razor toaster tattoo, <laughs> that's, e- <laughs> that's equivalent to 100K likes each. Yeah. Well, they now have 12 razor toaster tattoos. I mean, they've this got... one person? Or 12 uh, no, people? no, no. Just, Please tell me 12 people. I, I'm going to assume it's 12 people. This one dude's like, yeah, raise the toasters. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to assume it's, it's, it's 12 it's got individuals. It's teardrop, but it's a razor toaster tattoo um, under his eye. He said, well, what can I say? I've officially liked their page, and I'm going to put together my team of designers and engineers. It will take a few years, but I'll be sure to share the progress and make it a community affair. So they're going to make a razor toaster. God, why? Just... Because, because the internet, Luke. Because the internet. So why you can't say things like that on <laughs> on the internet. Uh, sometimes fans just don't need to get their way. Just dumb things. I mean, okay, cool. There's gonna be a I razor know. toaster. I'm assuming they'll probably just. Maybe they will decide. I We're don't... making the world's first smart toaster. They'll hire some people from fucking LG <laughs> or whoever makes the smart refrigerators. And they'll make a smart fucking Wi-Fi enabled toaster so you can play Skyrim and tweet from their toaster. Uh, great, cool, Jesus fuck. I I and just don't know what to say. It. Yeah, oh, yeah, it, it's dumb. But it's the dumbest shit. He's better. One of those dumb the dude things. who started all this and those twelve tattoo people be- better get a free one. They need to get free ones. Yeah. If they don't, then this whole thing is fucking bullshit. I mean, it, it's... $1,200 toaster. It's one of those things. It's so dumb. Yeah. But because it's so dumb, I love it. I just yeah. love it. I really do. Like, I love the idea. And I love it when companies do that kind of silly shit. Yeah. It's just good marketing, too. Like, you know? Um, and how much can a toaster truly cost you to build? 
I mean, considering we literally sell five dollars of toasters at work. That's what I. Like, that's why I want to know. Like, are they going to go the route of just the novelty burns the logo in the bread thing, or go fucking all out and make a fucking <laughs> smart toaster? They're probably going to go all out, but maybe not to the smart. When toaster When they said point. years, that's what I think. Yeah. If he literally they're going to do R and D. They're yeah. going to figure out a way to put it in there with all the heating components and stuff. Keep it's them like they out. they figure some shit out. Like, oh my god, we we've, we've reinvented the toaster. Like legitimately. <laughs> Like, this is how toasters now going forward will be. And everyone will be amazed. And the world will be a better place. But how, how more com- how much more complicated I don't can know. you make it's a like, toaster? It's like, it's like making a better mousetrap. <laughs> like, they figured it out. They fucking figured out the key to the universe, I think. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get any better than you put it in there. Put you push toast. the button. And just, <laughs> toast, and it. toast. Make toast. That's it. <laughs> That's all it needs to do. Eat bread, make crunchy. <laughs> You know, bur- maybe burn it a little bit because some of you fuckers are some weird. Some people like there. the little burnt. Well, mm-hmm. like a little. I, I, I don't know. I love those. I, I've never, I would never buy one, but those fucking, like I said, the novelty toasters that burn an image in the toast. Yeah. Like fucking Jesus. And <laughs> shit, that, those are funny as hell. You know, if that's what they do, whatever. I, I should get, I, I, I've been tempted to get one of the novelty toasters that burns dicks into the bread. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the dick toast. I don't know why. It's just one of those things that, that amuses the inner juvenile. Just living. every morning, if you make it to just put the thing down, but it <laughs> pops up. <laughs> just that little bit of giggle just make it, just keeps you going for another day. That's how I imagine those things work for people. <laughs> just that's what they need. That's so awful. Like, I need that dick toast to keep going. <laughs> just, just to keep going. That little bit. That dick toast. All right. Um, um, something that was the opposite of good. Um advertising and i fuck who knows uh uh the sonic trailer oh my god Dude. no no holy i holy that's one fuck. of those things i didn't even watch um because i saw so like worth... the pre-release stills yeah and i'm thinking no oh there were it's so much worse animated oh, it's hilariously god. bad it's so unfucking forgivably bad like it's one of those things where i imagine that like, you see, like, a 60 frame per second game, right? And everything yeah. looks so smooth. But then there's just that one thing that's really poorly animated. So it looks like it's running at 30 frames while everything around is running at 60 frames. And how it... You and mean, how like, that, Justice League? The final fight with... <laughs> well, movies run at 23.996, yeah, 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 yeah. so it doesn't matter. Um, but no, I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like... just taking cheap shots. <laughs> like, you see there, you see that jankiness, and it just takes you out of everything. And it's like, oh, God. Yeah, and I, I I imagine that that's how this is, where you look at around movies like, no, oh, this is okay. Then you see Sonic, and it's like, oh, it is. It, it, he's so bad. Yeah, it's like it's it's like Uncanny Valley territory, as well as just being terribly animated. He's so fucking hideous. Um, in the trailer, there's the scene where I can't even remember the actor's name. He's a halfway decent actor. Um, yeah, he's been in quite a few things. Yeah, busts in the room and see sonic for i'm assuming the first time he screams sonic screams he shoots sonic with a fucking trank dart faster than the speed of light gets shot by trank dart but anyway sonic screaming I mean, okay that could be at least literally like, haunt my dreams that, that, could that be a face thing, was horrifying that could be a thing where it was like oh he was caught off guard okay, surprise fine. yeah surprise that, I, i'm sure that's how that would be hand waved away later he literally plays the drums with missiles He's, he, he, they show that he is going to, they're going to pull the, um, Quicksilver thing from, uh, the, oh, the X-Men movie. A few Days of Future Past. Yeah. Where he, which was, where he just slows everything down. And where it shows his, at his speed, how he perceives the world when he's moving at full speed. Yeah. They're going to do that kind of crap with Sonic, but which, I mean, okay. it doesn't look good at all. That concept is cool. I love when no, they do that concept. concept. was amazing. And when it's movie. pulled off, it's great. Mm-hmm. I, the thing that gets me is like, I, I, I'm all I'm always against the hyper realism because it always looks awful, and yeah. this is the perfect example of hyper realism looking awful. It's not even hyper realism. Well, no, that's the thing. Like they're trying to make him look more realistic. It's like, but that's the thing. Like you already have this uh, this design down, right? Yeah. Sonic's has looked the same, give or take, more a or less, bit. Yeah. more or less. For like the last thirty fucking years, when he made the transition from two D to three D, he made it very well. Uh, there was so somebody like, who pointed out, like, fans were pissed back when his arms became blue. Yeah. Like. Yeah, because for the for the most of the time, his arms were like that that sort of pale, yeah. orangish yellow. It's like, 
almost white, like an off an off it color was weird, white. Like his glove, the color yeah. of his gloves almost. Yeah, so it's like, why, why, why? I mean, it makes more sense. But like I said, blue, you, but... you've got you've got that transition, right? You got that yeah. transition. You already have a you already have a bunch of good 3D models to choose exactly. from. That, by the way, are already mostly well animated. I'm sitting there thinking of Sonic Adventure with the way they're talking. It was I mean, so the, awful. the yeah, like the the games, and even so, like you said, you have a design. You have a that design. Exists. That exists. That is already good. But you're not allowed to do something good. Like they have. It's like in the corporate boardroom. They have to. They they sit there and they go, "Why? Why would we do it the way people love it? We have to fuck it up." It's like it's like they set out. It's one of the reasons I believe that the Halo movie was never made because Microsoft was like, "Oh, by the way, you will not fuck with our story, our characters, or anything." It will be done exactly like this, and no movie studio was willing to one pay the money or two, um, let the story writers and people at Microsoft have control over that shit. Which is really, really stupid because it's like it's why the WoW movie not wanted... coming out better didn't make any sense because it was done by the people who do WoW. It, it was one of those things where it, that that's a stupid concept because yeah. you want to make fuck loads of money, right? Yeah, well, make guess it like what? the way we like it. Make <laughs> exactly. It's not, this is not fucking rocket science. Why does Detective Pikachu look amazing? Because the Pokemon look fucking adorable. Even they look like Pokemon should look, even in 3D. Yeah, they're, they're some of them are terrifying, but that's because they should kind of be terrifying. They really should be. Like they they made that jump from the cartoony look to the hyper realist and look very very well. Yeah, because they still retain that charm that the that the little cartoony and fucks Ryan have. Reynolds so. and Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, no, that helps. <laughs> I mean, I'll watch it. He's he's like Idris Elba or or. Will Smith, I'll watch anything with him in it. It doesn't matter whether it's good or bad. I, I don't. I don't say that for Will Smith anymore. But I'll say that for Will Smith before two thousand and before Wild Wild West. Before Let's say that Wild Wild West was uh, was fun. It was fun. I'm not saying it's good. I, it was. It was. It's fun. It was like Justice League was fun the first time we saw it. Justice League was fun for the last fifteen minutes or forty minutes, twenty minutes. Whatever that was. When Superman showed up at the end. Well, Justice yeah. League was better. Yeah. Um, but, uh, uh, oh my god. Ugh. Wild Wild West was so, so bad it was almost good. I give it that. It was... All right. All right. But, all right. no, no, no. But, so here's the thing about the Sonic Back to thing. topic, yeah. Not only did they... They just shit the bed in the most complete way possible, making Sonic... They even went worse. Like the some of the original promotional stuff, he had like you could see his muscular muscles, and, and like in the arms and legs, which yeah. was creepy as fuck. Yeah, yeah. So they decided. I guess somebody was like, "That's kind of creepy. Let's take that out." But instead of giving him the skinny legs like he normally does in Sonic games and shit, yeah. he still has like a full leg. It just now doesn't have any muscle mass, <laughs> so it kind of just looks like a fucking looks like a noodle. Uh, yeah, like a weird like... noodle. It's He's it standing is on pool so noodles. bad. It is so fucking, his face is horrifying. So people on Twitter and everywhere else have just been redesigning their own 3D Sonics. Yeah. And it's a thousand times better. And we're talking people that make fucking, you know, barely minimum wage are doing better than a fucking movie studio with who knows how much money is being put, 150 million or something like that? Yeah, something like that. That's the same budget that Disney gave the G-Force. Yeah. (laughs) So 150 million at least. Um, and they made but, those, what were those guinea pigs? Those were guinea pigs. They yeah. made them so much more, so much more so fun. Fucking horrible. Um, it was. It was absolutely awful. But guinea pigs are adorable. I, did, I wasn't gonna watch that movie. I, I, I didn't. It. I don't even know what the fuck it's about. Uh, uh, guinea pigs apparently as spies. Guinea spy. That sounds like an excellent premise too. Like <laughs> no, it. <laughs> yes, it does. In the right hands, that could be an amazing movie. No. Anyway, <laughs> so something kind of magical happened. Um, the, I don't know if he's the director or one of the producers, but somebody at Sony said, okay, we've heard you, uh, we're redesigning Um, Sonic. I believe it's the director. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're going to go back and redesign Sonic to fit Sonic. He needs to look like Sonic. Yeah. That's what we want. That's what we want. We We get it. Sonic is a weird looking character. He's got one fucking big eye that just has the, like the, the eyebrow comes down in the middle. He, it, there's no separation. He's got skinny, teeny little legs and arms. He in big fucking shoes and big hands. And like, but big giant hedgehog works. head. Yeah, but it works. It, it has for years. Yeah, decades, decades. It Come works, on, and man. even in 3D, it works. And it's not like 
they were going for like realism, like actual realism. Like I said, they took the muscles. That's why they, that's, that's why I he said doesn't look like a, a, an anthropomorphic hedgehog in any any shape, way, shape, or form. No, you know he looks like he looks like a five year old with really, really some sort of really fucked up hairy condition. I he, oh, he kind of like the kid from uh, Jumanji. Yes, with blue. Yes, yes. yes, but even worse. Yeah. So actually, you know, I think someone made that comparison yeah. on Twitter where they put well, the two posted, side by side. I, I posted that in the chat. And just, I think. And just dyed yeah. his hair blue or whatever. It's they've there's so many things that have been pointed out. My favorite when I was watching somebody's video recently was uh somebody took and drew the scene from uh, the Aladdin trailer when the the original genie, the really terrible looking one, uh, they drew yeah. this this Sonic as the genie. <laughs> that was so good. I think it was PewDiePie's video. I don't know. All right, all right. But all right. Uh, yeah, so they're actually something good is coming out of this. They're gonna, they're, they're gonna, gonna redo. redesign them to be. But Sony's involved with this too. They're gonna it's unfuck like you don't it. have an excuse. Or Sega's involved with this. Wow. It's just uh, yeah. That's that's just something that gets me. It's not like they can't use the models. It's not like they couldn't use like the bases. It's not like they can't use yeah the like people who work on Sonic Team to help them out. Granted. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, that would not. They, that, that would. They be might have better. come up with this. Who knows? That might be. <laughs> you're absolutely correct. Sonic Team sometimes. Yeah. Given, given some of the shit that they've given us over the years, like Sonic to Sonic O Six, Sonic O Six legendarily, but I mean like Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, or I, uh, I Sonic and the Black Knight. It's like I don't think there's on. been a good Sonic game. Sonic fucking... Colors was probably the last one that had good ratings. I never I played know. it, so I can't speak from experience. The 3D Sonic games, even when they were good, they were bad. Yeah, like they've they've just like like for me, so bad. Sonic Adventure Two is like still stands at the, the peak of. That's 3D what Sonic I mean. Games. It is. It's like it's, it's when they were good, but that game is awful. It is. It totally it's is. So but you can have bad. so much fun with it. I know you really can. Like the, in spite of the bugs and stuff, it's well animated. It run. It plays decently. Yeah. It plays so much better than Sonic 06. The funny thing about that game in the new Sonics, like. Sonic Heroes, I think, was the yeah. one, the one oh, where you had God. your own, you could create your own Sonic OC. Uh, something. I, Whatever yes, one came out with uh, that. Like, the game is still the same. Yeah. It's been the same game since the fucking first 3D Sonic. Yeah. They have not changed that game at all. It's not good. It's not a good formula. It, it was at first, and now I think it's It was important. entertaining, but at, at first, I think, Banjo I think or, um, uh, Crash Bandicoot was yeah. good. Like, running towards the screen was a novelty. That's yeah. not good gameplay. That's terrible. No. It's not fun at all. No. <laughs> but that's why it, I still say that Sonic Adventure 2 was like that pinnacle yeah. because it gave you enough variety in your environments and the way it played that it didn't get stale like the others do. And it it, it, it kind of mixed that up. Um same thing with Sonic Adventure. After Sonic Adventure 2, everything went down. Yeah. Everything well, because went way they down. just it, they kept doing the same, and even like I said, even those games just fuck it. They couldn't. They don't hold up at all. No, I mean Sonic Adventure Two. I can thing. still play, but the rest I, of I them, can still. I can't I play, can play Sonic Adventure only for nostalgia, and it's only like ah, I remember this game, and then I get to like <laughs> the third level, and I'm like, I'm done. I'm I can. Uh, I've done every. I've literally done every bit of gameplay this game has. Yeah, there is no more changing gameplay after you've played one of each scenario um, if you've played sonic once if you've played knuckles once if you've played tails, tails yeah you're done yeah pretty much and it's like it's like okay novelty wise it, 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 like i said uh that that is what saves that game a little bit for me now but oh man the fact that they never came up with anything different um i could still uh, i can still s rank the uh first level <laughs> on the hero's uh, uh, city escape, I can still S rank. I mean, that song is still amazing. That song is amazing if, like, for all the wrong reasons, but that song is amazing. Um, I, I think that's the only one that I can still S rank right off the bat, no matter how long it's been since I played it. Because <laughs> all you gotta do is get like eighteen hundred points or something like that. I don't know. It's, it's like not that playing hard. the first stage of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Yeah, I love that stage. You can just you can just max out the score yeah. counter. All right, so main topic for today's episode yeah so um now, there avengers was this movie endgame. there was this movie like last week that released you guys may have heard of it called yeah. avengers endgame it's only made 1.6 now billion dollars worldwide it's, it's making all the money it made all for like a little indie for movie. a week it's doing really well <laughs> It's, it's just a little really small well. movie. A little small studio it's only, made it. It's, uh, it's uh, only the uh, fucking 10 years running series, the yeah, 11 God. years running. There's what? Uh, now with Endgame, there's like 62 hours of movies Oh my God, in, in the MCU now. Um, it's, it, it's got a three-hour runtime. It's a fucking... 
It's it's beast. It's, it's a beast, a beast of, a of a movie, but it's fucking worth it. It's worth every minute of it. I mean, there's so much going on, and it's so amazing. It's, it, it like I mean, it, the fact that it is the end of these eleven years of all these movies. They tie up all of that together in a nice neat bow, where you have all of these characters and all of these storylines, and it works. Is insane. Yeah, it's just but they and they made it work. Yeah. Um like fucking fantastic. They they gave us a coherent ending. Yeah. Which is like mind blowing, you know? Because when you sit there and you look back <laughs> We're fingers crossed that JJ Abrams can do that for once in his career. Uh oh shots fired. Um I wasn't even a fan of Lost. I just like making fun of it. <laughs> Dude, I hate it, Lost. I really I do. Never watched it. We're we're Heroes shows. Heroes was I'm bad. Sorry, they were at war and I chose Heroes and I chose poorly. I know Lost, you don't miss anything. It's just a bunch of people on a fake island. <laughs> I love that that's one of those shows that everyone was like season one. Oh, are they in um, uh, Purgatory? And the showrunner's like, no, it's not Purgatory. And then like six seasons later, ha ha, it was Purgatory the whole time. We know, assholes. We told you that six years <laughs> yeah. ago. Um, but anyway. I, I never got into it. I didn't like it. I thought its premise was dumb. It's like it's like we Gilligan's still Island. Still love you, JJ. It was like Gilligan's Island, but not funny. Yeah. So it was like, it's been done. I don't care. Moving on. Yeah. Um, but, end game though. End game. Oh it my stuck God. the landing. It totally did. Like ten point. Yeah. Or whatever the highest point is, you give a landing. I don't fucking. I know. get a ten. <laughs> like, like it starts off so quiet. Um, and there's a lot of just build up, and then you hit that last fight scene. Oh yeah, this like, movie oh fucking throws you like there's so, there's right. way more emotion in this movie. Yeah, there is. Than you would ever expect. There's mo- there's gut punches. Of yeah, whole, uh, uh, like it, it was like watching Into the Spider Verse again, like where his every time, like when his uncle died. When I, he, I think you know, there's even more in this, way more, way more oh, yeah. impactful. Into yeah. the Spider Verse was great. Yeah, and that that was a hell of a gut punch. But this movie, not only not even just like not even gut punches for like being downers. But um, uh, that theme. There's a theme, a running theme of family in this movie that yeah is so yeah. good. Uh, um, by the way, from this point on, we're gonna spoil. Yeah, we're this gonna movie. spoil the hell out of it. So if um, you haven't seen it, you should have seen it by now. And if and we're disappointed in you if you haven't seen it. <laughs> so uh, you know, if you are listening, st- shut us off now. Go see it and come back. Yeah, come back and listen. See if we agree with like the shit we're going to talk about even though i mean wait that that is uh, as far as our review goes yeah we both fucking love this movie oh yeah i'd give it i'd easily like it in game uh i think infinity war fits better as a package as a movie like i could sit down and watch infinity war uh more times than i would watch end game because it's just because you don't want to cry a little bit more and yeah but it, it end game is a bit of a crier um but i will like when it comes out when it starts clips start hitting youtube uh, i'll be watching certain scenes of this movie off and on forever like like especially obviously the end fight scene is fucking fantastic um but there's like little parts of this movie that and it's funny it's just it's it's the whole package but yeah i mean it basically sums up the entirety of the marvel universe yeah um in just one i don't know how they did it like it's amazing that they managed to condense all of that into just three hours, you know. Yeah. But you, if you're gonna go see it and you haven't seen it yet, like I said, it's it's very long. You'll you'll hit just about three hours before the credits roll. Well, it's crazy to me that this they pulled this story out after the end of Infinity War. Uh, and you know we'll talk about spoilers, but yeah, it's it's great. Go see it if you haven't seen it. Make sure you fucking see it. Come back and listen to us. But yeah. All right, so now that those guys are out of our way, let's go talk about Endgame. Yes. So basically, movie opens. It's just Clint, you know, being with his family. Like we said, the it very heavily focuses on family. Yeah, right off the fucking bat with the whole gut punch. Thing, oh yeah, man. Because you. Um, you know, it it basically picks up exactly where Infinity War left off, as mm-hmm. you would expect. Thanos does a snap, and Clint's part family just vanishes, man. I don't remember who I was. Somebody, somebody else who had seen the movie I was talking to, and they, or maybe they hadn't seen it, but it was spoiled for him. I don't remember. Somebody I was talking to about this part. Oh, by the way, oh, if you if you spoiled this movie for anybody, 
You are an asshole. Yeah, you're a fucking piece of shit. Don't do that. I actually, I think it was you because you had to. The first time we saw it, you went and had to piss. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, I told you about the scene where I was like, so it's just Clint, his family, his family gets snapped away, but they do it in the most brutal fucking way, where he doesn't actually see it happen to any of them. No, no, he they fucking just vanish. He fucking turns. He's with his daughter. She's shooting the arrow. His wife starts talking to him. He turns to talk to his wife and his two sons. He turns back. The daughter's gone. You just see like a little bit of the dust in the wind. Yeah. So he starts shouting her name, turns back to the table where his wife and sons are gone. I was like, when they did that, when I saw that for the first oh time in the God. theater, it's I'm like... sitting there going, oh, you assholes. <laughs> that is horrible. Dick move, guys. Dick oh move. Oh, my God. Because it's like, and Clint's not, Hawkeye, Clint, he doesn't live in the middle of a city. So he can't be like, he's not seeing cars crashing and random shit like that. No. He's out in fucking hobo, n- hobunkin nowhere. Like, he's out he's out on farmland. Yeah, so yeah. he's gonna, like, it's gonna take, how long is he gonna be fucking searching through the goddamn fields for his, and there wasn't even anywhere for them to be. No, not really. That was the part. There was, like, the tree, and then there was the house. Yeah. And that was it. That's all they had. So, like, where the fuck are they going to go, you know? I can't imagine. I mean, maybe he had been in contact, kind of knew, oh, some shit's going down, but you're retired. But I kind of doubt it. I don't think he would have known shit's going down. Considering he said fuck it, went on a killing spree, you know? After the fact, yeah. Yeah. Once he once he obviously found out. But I was like, oh, man, that that was (laughs) a way to start a movie that was fucking just brutal. Brutal. Infinity ah. War and this movie started brutal as hell. Yeah, yeah, they did because at the beginning of Infinity War, you're on the ship that the Asgardians mm-hmm. escaped from the trash planet on, and everyone's fucking dead. Yeah, it, fucking Thor's getting his ass whooped. Fucking uh, Hulk gets Heimdall his ass dies. Whooped. Hulk gets his ass beat. Heimdall dies. Loki dies, and then uh, Thanos blows up the ship. Yeah, after getting uh, the Tesseract. It's like what the fuck, man. Uh, space, uh, space. Space, space stone, space gym. Holy fuck! But yeah, this that that's the way this starts, and um, you kind of see. You, I like that they show you where everybody's at, like almost immediately afterwards. Mm-hmm. Um, and the movies, there's no, it's it's like in full speed ahead as soon as it starts, because yeah. immediately right after, like we said, ten minutes in, and they found Thanos, and he's dead. Yeah, like they kill him just like that, like. They go through a little bit of stuff. They show some backstory, you know. Like, they show like, the scene, t- like Tony how Cap, from the trailer, like how Cap is sitting there. And he has a support group for every for people. And no, no, got, no. That's five years later. It is five years later. No, no, no. Right? The beginning of this movie, um, they go straight before into they do his that. Head off. That's right. Yeah, yeah. The first thing that happens is you see there's the part with Tony where he's he's like bonding with Nebula, playing uh, paper football, which is kind of funny. But he does the whole thing where he leaves the message. I'm jumping ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Which we could jump around. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um. But yeah, they that was that. We knew that was coming from the trailer. Yeah, I know you didn't watch the trailer. No, I I didn't see any trailers. No, I didn't see anything like that. Um. That was the big thing in the trailer was they showed quite a bit of that scene where he's like, essentially leaving his last his last Last message. Yeah, yeah. Um. To Pepper or anybody on that ship and stuff and like. It was very, like, to me, he looked and it reminded me of Iron Man quite a bit. Right. He, even though he wasn't, like, working on anything. But he kind of had that same almost sense of desperation. Yeah. Um. Unfortunately, in this case, there was no, there's nothing he could do. The yeah. ship was, you know. I mean, he's adrift in space, yeah. has no power. You're a thousand light years from the nearest anything. Yeah. What do you do? You know? And then Captain um, Marvel shows up. Uh, Deus Ex Machina flies up and oh, she is Tony very back. much Deus Ex She's Machina. Unfortunately, used as Deus Ex Machina, she gets the Superman treatment in this movie uh-huh. because she her shows and, up. Uh, her and Scarlet Witch. No, to sort a of. To Scarlet a Witch, not so much because she is gone anyway. Right. There is no real excuse other than oh, gotta go save other planets. No, no, no. Fuck you. They what they did with Captain Marvel. It was either we just got this character, we don't know what we could do with her because she's got her, her movie's not out yet, oh, or it was we have no idea what to do with a character this powerful. She basically makes everyone else moot. So right, right. We do the easy Superman thing of she's not there the whole time. Right. Which that I'm it it it's not a big knock against the movie. I, I kind of I get it, but at the same time, I, it's a little bit like you could have like why why. Yeah, she's just gone the whole time. 
She like, has a weird haircut later on. She comes back with a new hair, with a fucking, can I see your manager haircut? It's like halfway between that and halfway between the, the, the style you typically see on a lesbian. Not that I'm knocking anyone, but yeah, like, no, it is. It is yeah. like it's close to both of those. She yeah. came back. I love so it's like, it's like halfway. Manager. Like okay, I'm not knocking lesbians, but I'm knocking Karens. Fuck you, Karen. Yes, because Karens are the ones that always have that. Can I see your manager haircut? <laughs> yes. So it's like it, it's it's weird, and it's just kind of out of nowhere. And I don't knock it. I don't care. It's not bad because it's, it's not. not quite that, but it is definitely like you it can is see definitely yeah. for a manager. Yeah. Uh, but still, like she's she shows up at the beginning of the movie. She saves Tony. She fl- like brings the flies the ship back, which the idea of her one finding the ship too, the, I I had forgotten that. Oh wait, no, her power is simply, uh, the that energy of, uh, faster than light travel of yeah. of I I the engine that can bypass. Whatever they use for FTL for yeah, for yeah. space right, travel, yeah. fast space travel. Just, so I, I forgot she could do that without a ship. Yeah. So at the beginning of the movie, I'm like, why the fuck? How the fuck does she get? Oh wait, yeah, I forgot. That is her shtick. That, that is, is her, her entire deal. thing. Yeah. Is that she can do things that are impossible? Yeah, but which makes it again why she, when you have her in your party, who the fuck is Hawkeye and Captain America? Yeah. And that's already with like Thor and the Hulk. Making them damn near um, unstoppable. Un- well, useless. Yeah. Rather, but I oh, mean, I thought we were talking as a team, unstoppable. Well, unstoppable, yes, but I mean, making those other characters fucking moot. Like, why are you here? Yeah. What do we need you for? But they've you need they've, Captain America for his pep talks. Yes, and they've done a good job of actually making Captain America like he legitimately being able to fight, and he's strong enough that they do make him like, okay, I get it. Yeah, and then later on in the movie, he's validated more than any other character has been, ever. ever. It was so fucking amazing. It's like yes. Batman with a Green Lantern ring. Yeah, yeah. Um, or a Yellow Lantern ring. But yeah, so that she, I don't know. It just that was that was something that bummed me out. Not even bummed me out because, yeah. like I said, I, I get it. It's it's almost where they fucked themselves by making her so unbelievably powerful in her movie for the five minutes she gets to be. Yeah, but. Yeah, I don't know. What else are you going to do with her? Just say, oh, she's gone. Which means, going forward, and I want to talk about that later on if we have time, going forward I mean, for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Oh, that's true. <laughs> going forward for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, where do you take her? Yeah, Like, if you want yeah. her to be a part of the a new Avengers or whatever team is there, if that's what you're going to do. What do you do? I mean, yeah, what do you do? What do you do with her? In the comics, she's she's there with them. But I, I don't know. Well, yeah. hopefully they figure it out. Though Thor's all Thor's made sense being there. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Thor's gone now, though. So. Well, he's chilling with the Guardians of the Galaxy, which is so. weird. I want to see what happens with that. Like, yeah, that's you know. why I can't wait for the next Guardians movie. Um, but so they Tony comes back. Uh, that was one of my favorite scenes too. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of favorite scenes in this movie. But when Tony has the breakdown. Yelling at Captain Cap yeah, yeah. Oh, man. over everything. I was crying during that. I really was, man. I was, I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Because you fucking get it. Yeah, uh, you do. Like, because you look at all the shit that happened before. Yeah, he like, fucking sacrificed himself in Avengers. Yep. To save everybody, and then literally everything else in the Marvel Cinematic Universe until Thanos was his fault. Yeah. He made Ultron. He's like, he did. I uh, did all the things wrong. <laughs> Unintentionally. It unintentionally un- but still yeah it was unintentionally and to a degree unwittingly yeah so we can't be upset with him necessarily but, but i mean he went through ptsd and like iron man 3 or yeah 3 yeah because that came after avengers um he fucking creates ultron fucks up yep and then it's like he uh, uh, the civil war stuff he's the one who fucking pushes for it and everything even though he's blaming Cap for not being there for him at yeah. that point. He even was talking about um, Ultron, like Ultron was a good idea. Because, you know, the suit of armor around the world. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, at that point, he's been starving and half dead in space. For... I mean, he's hooked up to the IV. Yeah, he, he's, you know, he's literally fucking about, like, on death's They'd door. been out there for three weeks and there was yeah. just nothing. They were eating yeah. Freeze dried beef jerky, or whatever and the he fuck just it was. watched uh, the kid. He watched Spider Man. Yeah, he just watched. He just watched. They lost. They just watched the kid. 
and everyone else. That he he gave so much. Everyone to. but the fucking weird robot chick yeah. turned to dust in front of and him. And the raccoon. Uh, no. The, the raccoon was back. He with wasn't him. there. Yeah. Rocket was raccoon. That's right. It wasn't there. It just everybody dust in front of him. Yep. The idiot who let Thanos go. The fucking the wizard who said it's the only way. Handed him the fucking time stone. Yep. Oh my god, dude. That's still insane to me. Like that whole that whole situation, and then you know later in the movie, there's only one way. There's only one way. I I love that. I they, cause it, when you watch Infinity War, it's like, oh my god, he gave him the stone, so it has to be has to rely on Tony because he saves Tony to give him the stone, blah blah blah, and he even says, and I'm sorry, Tony, there's only it's the only way. Yep. And we're in the end game now, and you know, is dusted. I. In this movie, again, like I said, it pays off. It does, and it shows up multiple times throughout the movie. Yeah. Um, of course, later on, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, my God. So you move on. You got the uh, the support group, and you got Black Widow. Oh, Wido well, that's the, the thing. They kill Thanos. They do they, go. They do. They, five seconds. They find Thanos. They have a small chat Which, with by the way, they find him because when he did the snap on Earth, it released this wave of cosmic energy yeah. that had never been seen before. And then he it did it again three weeks later where he snaps his fingers again. They have that, like, there he is. Let's go get him. And he destroyed the stones. He destroyed the stones. Yeah. And then they find him with the fucking one fucked up arm in the glove. It's like, yeah, it's all burnt up and, like, all of the side of his face and everything. It's yeah. just, and he's limping, which I think he actually always had. but No. Uh-uh. He never had a limp like that. He was right. really fucked up. It's why they take him out so easily. He doesn't even put up a fight. No, he he's, like, he's given up by that. Like point. War Machine holds his good arm. Yeah, like it's nothing. Yeah, because he had nothing left in him. And then fucking Thor, just he's fucking I am inevitable. Oh daughter, maybe I shouldn't have been so cruel to you. And Thor's and like, fuck cr- this. I went off. for the head. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? I went for the head. And, and then he just the walks the fuck out. Because Thor is having major fucking, like, depression and, I don't know, PTSD might be the wrong term, wrong word for it, but, like, everything that's happened to Thor is just so fucked up, up yeah, to no, this point. He lost his home. He lost his people. He, he lost, lost his, his father mother, and yeah. his mother. Yeah, it's like... His family, his brother. His brother, yeah. He, like, he lost his, his... His people were destroyed by Hela. They were then... His uh, home was destroyed by Surtur. Yeah, his home was destroyed by Surtur. Then a majority of the people, were, uh, uh, half the people were killed by Thanos when they attacked the ship. And then another half were snapped away, which is so fucking shitty. It's like, what, what, what do you do? Like, you and then what do they do? They end up having new Asgard, Asgard, Asgard Norway. which is like in Norway and a little shitty fishing village. And holy shit, they got the short end of the stick. They <laughs> sure did, man. It was horrible. <laughs> Poor Asgardians. You know, they have an alcoholic, overweight uh, ruler. That that was something that's pissed a lot of people off. I loved uh, it. Thor. I thought it was fucking hilarious. I thought it was too. Like, as soon as you see um, the, it was Hulk and Rocket, and they're riding on the back of that, as soon as that music kicked in, yeah. and you see, you know, where they're headed, and this is new Asgard, I was like, oh my god. This has Taika Waititi written all over it. Uh-huh. This is like Thor Ragnarok. Like, yep. I don't know yep. if he helped direct or write anything in this movie, but I 100% believe the Russo brothers either were inspired by what he did for yeah. Thor Ragnarok yeah. or, like, let him... Because he's in the movie. He plays Korg. Yeah, that's and true. And Korg shows back up. And, I mean, that whole... I was like, oh, my God, I cannot wait to see what happens here. And then they meet Thor, and he's a fucking fat drunk. Just a fat alcoholic who's shouting at children on Fortnite. I will uh, shove your arms up your butt. Uh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Thor. <laughs> No problem. You let me know if he bothers you again. <laughs> <laughs> like I hate the the, the fucking um, hate the Fortnite reference. I hate the Fortnite reference, but at the same time, it's made all funnier because they're just really pathetic man children. Yep. <laughs> Korg is playing, and I love this. I didn't see it the first time we saw this movie, but when we went back and saw it again, yeah, the whole time Hulk is talking to Thor and trying to get. Yeah, he's to trying to play him. the game in the background. Yeah, in the background, Korg is leaning, leaning to the over. side. <laughs> Look around, Thor, but he never interrupts them. He's so fucking polite. Oh yeah, man, Korg's a great <laughs> dude, man. That's why we love uh, Korg. And Meek with <laughs> there's like pizza. six slices of pizza. He's, he's like, like ah. <laughs> <laughs> and when they're like, hey, stay, hey, that kid's back again, Meeks throws a slice of pizza at the TV. <laughs> well, 
boys back in New <laughs> Killer 69. <laughs> so good. Oh, man. That was so... Th- Are you here to fix the cable? Like it's been messed up, for, it's been messed up for weeks. <laughs> Sports station. <laughs> Sports station has been blurry. <laughs> so, oh, man. It was fucking funny. Yeah, I, did, I had no problem. I And, you know, I'm kind of, in a way, really happy. Most movies you would have expected them... When it like got to like oh he joins got down to business I half expected them to make an ass pull where he has like a fifteen minute montage and is in, in, like magically in shape and shaved and everything but, but no. no he's fucking chubby fat Thor the whole movie he's he's belly he, he's belly uh was a beer belly Thor the entire movie he's uh, the dude Thor because he's definitely fucking inspired by uh um the dude yeah the dude the big Lebowski Since, yeah yeah. <laughs> In Lebowski. fact, someone actually calls him that in the movie. I think yeah. it's actually Tony. It's right. Tony. Come All right, Big Lebowski. Lebowski. All right, <laughs> let's sit you down. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> crying. Oh, that was. So he starts funny. crying about Jane when they're sitting there talking about the Infinity Stones. And it was my father hid it away to keep it from dark elves. Ooh, Ooh. spooky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, oh God, so dumb. It, it, it the juxtas, juxtaposition where obviously after they kill Thanos, um, Ant Man comes back. Yeah. Not obviously, but the the movie progresses before they they go and decide to get Thor. Yeah, Ant Man comes back with a way to possibly go through time because he's fucked around in the quantum realm for and, five hours, which was yeah. five years for the rest of us. Yeah, and for him, five hours, which is like that. We knew something was going to happen with the quantum realm. Oh yeah, especially after Ant Man yeah. and the Wasp. The the end credit scene is he's in there and they're snapped away. Yep. Um, which spoilers if you didn't see that. Well, that's the, that's the end credit scene. <laughs> I know, right? But it's like, and if you've are... listened to this, you know that's the case because he tells them that's the case. Yep. But uh, once they get the team, they go to get the team together because that's the only way they're going to get Tony on board. Yeah. Uh, the opposite of the ha ha funny moments of Thor, which is kind of sad too, because when they mention Thanos, he damn near breaks down crying. Yeah. Um, I love Hulk Hulk Banner being like, I know, buddy. I got my ass kicked too. <laughs> <laughs> Twice. It was worse for me. Yeah, he got beaten as Hulk, Hulk got his ass beat and then, and then Banner, Banner later. lost. Yeah. And it, that was that was a sweet scene too where to, uh, Cap is like, "We don't blame you, Bruce." And he's like, "Yeah, but I blame myself." Mm-hmm. And it's yeah, no, nope, he's they can't argue. While he's sitting there in the diner and he has these giant fucking salad bowls of bacon and eggs and shit. In oh front my of god, him. that was great. Like, oh my god. That there's that's one scene in the movie I almost wish wasn't the cell phone scene. Yeah. The fucking the, the Ant Man. He's like, Oh, the, I'm uh, Ant Man. The Google Pixel uh two marketing scene. Yeah. Yeah, or that Pixel was Three so or whatever it is. Cringy and not good cringy. Like no. I get it. Like no one knows Ant Man. Who's gonna fucking recognize you? Like the first time we watched it, I sat through that scene. Like I watched it. It was like, mm-hmm. Oh, okay, this is weird and cringy. The second time we sat through that scene, I put my head down like, No, I'm not watching it. Exactly. This. Yeah. No. It was like, uh, just come on man come on why would you do that come on he wants a picture he's gonna feel bad it's like all right i get bruce take the goddamn phone (laughs) bruce is awkward and shit and it's a dig at man which is is funny yeah for sure i mean but it was dumb but it was so cringy it was so dumb but hey you know it's it's we're past that now we're past that i have the cringe but but you know they had to throw that in there for the pixel marketing yeah they had to have something for google marketing which i mean the phone is great I, I I can't recommend them, but hey, whatever. Do what <laughs> the you do. phone's all right. I don't recommend it. No, I don't. I I mean, with my, the problems I had with it, yeah, it was like, no, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Um, but but the opposite of the Thor when uh, she goes to get Hawkeye and he's fucking being Ronin and he's just murdering people. Which, by the way, when that scene first started, the initial scene, um, because everything was dark and fast and moving quick, I'm yeah. sitting there thinking. Did they put Deadpool in this? Yeah, <laughs> because it's a dude with a sword slaughtering this. Yeah, because that's exactly what Deadpool would do. And then you find out that it's, no, it's just Clint. And it's like, well, that's cool, too. Yeah. I want Deadpool. Yeah, <laughs> I wish it was Deadpool, but yeah. But no, yeah, he's he's become Ronan, and he's got this fucking chip on his shoulder that his family's gone, but these, like... These Yakuza, awful, awful yeah, people. Like he, they, I think they, they survived. He killed. Um, it was uh, he killed. He took out a Mexican drug cartel. cartel. Yeah, the um, cartel people, and then he's going and he's murdering Yakuza members. Yeah, in Japan when uh, um, mm-hmm. Black Widow finds him, and you know convinces him, God, don't give me hope. <laughs> I wish I could have given it to you sooner. Yeah, and so then, then that's, a that's all it takes. <laughs> that's such a touching moment. Yeah, 
He's like halfway to tears. It's like, oh my god, yeah. no. Because you've seen some shit with him, and it, it made me. I this movie, um, I really liked Hawkeye. Yeah, way more. Like they, he'd gotten a little bit of screen time in Age of Ultron. You see a little bit more of him, his family and stuff. Yeah. Um, the stuff between him and Quicksilver, like getting saved in that. But he's never, I don't think he's shown up in anybody's since then at all. No, no, because... He wasn't in anybody's solo movies except for, uh, he was in Iron Man 2, I think. Just you see him. I think he popped up in Civil War. Maybe it was... Well, he he was in Civil War, too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Which is Avengers 3 to me. <laughs> I mean... Eh. Basically. Yeah, um, I could, I mean... But yeah, I but like he wasn't that. in, he's just never, he's not there. He was mentioned in a couple of the movies, but yeah, he's just not in the movies. Like you yeah, don't see him because not, he um, doesn't get anything and really any screen time or you know much lines. This movie, he was you know quite a bit. He was a pretty central character. He was pretty yeah. big and important. I I like I like that. Um, they and, kind of made you in it. They do it for a reason. Yeah, because later on, when him and um, Black Widow end up going to get the Soul Stone, yep. it's the oh shit, you know this the Soul for Soul bullshit. Yeah, uh, but. Yeah, that that just the they go from the humor scene to super serious and it works. It has always been something that Marvel does fucking amazing. Yeah, I, like like that transition is is new more, normally pretty difficult, but they do it with ease. I don't I don't get it, but I I don't mind it either. I love it. Yeah, I'm glad they can do it. Not many other people can pull it off. So the Russos are well. I, this is the the Marvel movies in general have always had that. that yeah, thing. yeah, for sure. Because you got Tony, and he's just a big smartass. He's just a big old smartass who yeah. makes fun the, of the things. Guardians and all the movies. Have, um, they they yeah. do it. <laughs> I especially moments. love the Guardians, man, because they're so much fun. <laughs> Serious moments, and then they take the piss out of them. Yay! Yeah. That's the way it should be. Um, what did you think about the time travel antics in this movie? I mean, speaking from a physics standpoint, it's all theoretical. Oh yeah, right. But I like, liked. Like, I like, uh, I thought it was. I thought it was really, really goofy, really, really weird. Um, I I, I don't know how I honestly feel about it. I, I for me, I'm just going to accept it as voodoo magic. Exactly, it's magic. It's yeah. movie magic. Like it's, it's like, time travel always is. I kind of like the. I mean, part of it's used so that they can have all those moments where people are referencing movies. And time travel and other things. And those scenes are so fucking funny. Yeah, like when they're sitting there and they're suiting Clint up for the first test, the first run, and they're talking Back to the Future and, and oh, all this time cop. Uh, why don't we like, just go back to Thanos when he's a baby and, yeah, just, <laughs> and he's like, why would you? That's horrible. That's horrible. But Thanos. It's, Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> it's that argument of, would you kill baby Hitler? It's so Yes, I great. would kill baby Hitler. Why would you not? Um, but that was the whole, it, it finally clicked the second time where the whole thing isn't, It's it's that it's multiple realities. It's not, right. It's, it's, it's not it's parallel actual universes. Linear, time, linear time travel. Yeah. yeah. Cause time is not linear. Yeah. But that's neither here. Nor there. It's why I, I, I liked it. I don't, it's the, a way also so that you don't, you can have less of those. Okay. But if you have time travel, why didn't they go back and fix this? Or why don't you just go fix this? Because you kind of can't. I mean, you can, Certain things. but it's not going to change this reality. Exactly. It's what not going to change do, it's your just reality. It's going to branch off a new reality. Yeah. Which is something that they touch on later in the movie when Bruce Banner trying to get the time stone from the Sorcerer's Spring. Yeah, she ex- she explains it even more, is that every time, and that was more of just how the stones work than the time travel of every time you take, if you take a stone oh. out of that reality, that reality breaks down. Yeah. And, or, or evil wins or some shit like that. I don't uh, know. It changes things. Yeah. It, it changes things. Uh, in a irrevocably yeah in in a universal level it's not like uh it's not like you've gone and you've taken the kid's baseball glove like clint does yeah when he shows that time travels that it works yeah he brings something back from that other reality quote unquote time time yeah um but yeah the, the 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 stones are incredibly important which is why they come up with the idea of what if we bring them back right to when we took them yeah um which kind of makes some interesting things that I didn't think of until I was watching and listening to some reviews. Um, some interesting implications. Yeah. yeah. So one of, one of the places they go, they go to for dark world, essentially. Yeah. Uh, and what's her fucking name? Thor's girlfriend. Oh, uh, Jane, Jane, yes. Jane Foster has the stone essentially the, inside her. Yeah. The, uh, the ether. What, what stone is that? It's the, the, the is it the reality the, stone? Reality or life? 
because the power is stone. Life of stone. I don't remember. I think it's reality because the power stone came from Guardians. Yeah, power stone was Guardians. Tesseract was uh, Avengers and Thor, Thor and, and Iron Man. Iron Man. Yeah. The Tesseract had been all over the fucking place. Um, Time stone, stone obviously came from Doc Strange. Yeah, Soul. This is the Eye of Agamotto. Yeah, Soul Stone was in Vormir. Yeah, so that. That I only popped up, I think, in uh, yeah, that was only Captain in America. Infinity War. Was it not in Captain Soul. America, the original, original Avenger? Not the Soul Stone, because you got Red Skull who's guarding it. He's yeah, but that's just because the Tesseract said fuck you. Oh, oh, um, he, he had the Tesseract. Yeah, the Tesseract was okay. In it's that. been like, that, like ten I said, years since I've the seen Tesseract that movie. has been in like nine movies. Yeah, space um, has been in nine movies. Mind Stone was in Loki's staff the whole time. No, the Mind Stone. Was in uh, was Visions. originally in Loki's staff, was and in, then was oh. used in Vision. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why they go for the staff. Right. Oh. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right, that makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, it's 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 reality. Uh, but the so. Uh, this is this is jumping around obviously, but the whole thing is they have to put the stones back. Right. Right. So it's Captain America at the end of the movie. He's going to go put the stones back and the fucking Thor's hammer because Thor had taken it too. Um. I love the idea of think about that. He's got to go back and find Jane Foster and stab her with the fucking ether. He's got to go like, excuse me, miss, bend over for a second, because <laughs> Rocket already chased her around a room with a fucking syringe to get it out of her. Now some weird man's gonna come and stab her again to put it back. Although in his um, it's a little bit different in like the two scenarios because this time he's wielding Thor's hammer. And that that makes a difference. Well, uh, what think. is he gonna smack her with no, the hammer? More first? like more like you see that he's he's worthy to be Thor. How many people are Still, worthy to be? That's Thor? That's gonna be awkward it's as fuck. It's gonna be awkward as fuck. But it's, hey, he'll hey, get through it. Look, I'm worthy. I've got to put this back <laughs> inside have of you. I gotta so that they can take it out. <laughs> it's like it's so it's so silly, it's but so like fucking it's funny as hell. It's it's so, there's a lot of implications that are just yes. very strange. I love it. Well, that and um. This is a big thing that, for continuing on purposes, so he has to go give the Soul Stone to the Red Skull. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not only that, so the whole thing with the Soul Stone is a soul for a soul. Right. If you give it back. Do you get the soul does, back? Does Nat come back? I don't know. That's a good She's question. She's got a TV show, and or a movie, rather. Right. So, I think I think Black Widow comes back. Unless it's like a, unless it's like a, a prequel thing, like you were talking. Yeah, it could be, but I didn't even think about this yeah. when I was talking about that. When we, yeah, after what, we saw what, the movie, like this didn't even come to mind at all. Like I didn't. It's one of those things where, like we said, time travel. I don't think too hard about time travel in movies because you can always poke tons of holes in it. Yeah, because and time even travel when is take, one of those impossible concepts. Yeah, even when they take like this movie does it well, where it's like no, you because it's alternate realities, you're always affecting somebody. Yeah. It's not like the Back to the Future or those other movies where you just can keep going in loops. Um, Looper. Yeah. In this, it's so, it, it's kind of like there's Groundhog less day. holes, but still, it's time travel. I don't, I don't yeah, think no, about it because you'll poke holes in the movie and you make it less fun that way. Unless it's what, like blatantly like stupid. Huh? You don't like a Swiss cheese movie? Yeah. And unless it's blatantly stupid where it's like you can't help but poke the holes. This movie, it's like, okay, I'm just not going to think of it. So I didn't think about the fact that, oh, no, Tony's going back and stabbing her with a thingy. And he's got to go give a soul stone to Red He's going to get there and be like, motherfucker. <laughs> that's going to be great. That's going to be weird. Yeah, but that's the question of, okay, so you give it back. Does Nat come back? Which is, I think, what's going to happen. Right. Maybe that'll be her movie. And maybe that's Cap's being a cheeky fucking asshole and not telling them that she's back at the end of this movie. I mean, it's very possible. Or he forgot because he's old. Yeah, so, yeah, you know. I mean, he goes back to the 40s. What was <laughs> yeah. it? The 40s or whatever? 50s, 70s? I don't know. Whatever. 50s. It's... He goes back. Yeah, probably the 40s. Like 40s. right after the war. And to live his life. That he missed out which, on. Uh is a fucked up reality that he goes back. Because that means there's two Captain Americas in that reality. And he just watches 9-11 happen. <laughs> he watches the events of all the movies just happen. And he's just not my fucking problem. <laughs> like sitting there reading a newspaper or whatever. But hey, you know what? He's living, he's getting a life. It's one of those things where I like it at the same time. I dislike it. Right. Because I don't think that character can, even forcing himself, oh, I know it works out in the end. There's a whole lot of people that die yeah. from those events. And he's just going to sit there and act like, 
I'm not, you know, oh, nope, I'm not a part of it. This isn't my... Yeah, and, is I mean, he hiding for 50 years? Because he's got a recognizable face, right? You would think so. Especially when he comes back. I don't know. It's it That 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 kind of bothered me that that's the way they do old man Cap. Yeah. It's a little... Because I mean, you're right. Like, Cap's not... Cap's not going to be one of those people that can sit around while all this awful shit's happening. I know? don't expect him to be able yeah. to anyway. Like, like, yeah, you wouldn't expect him to. But then again, when you look back on all the shit he's been through over like the past seven or eight years, it could make sense. Also, um, well, what, 10 or 12 years or whatever. The, yeah, whatever the he's been through a lot of, so you might be right. He might like literally be like, I'm retired. I'm not, this isn't my bag anymore. Yeah. He just stops watching the news. Like they never get cable. He never, maybe he never reads a newspaper. He just reads books, history yeah. books, yeah. old books. Cause why would you, uh, he, I, I can imagine he doesn't want to hear what's happening with, you know, Tony Stark and like all this stuff. Yeah. But, um, so that, that's, that's another interesting thing of the time travel stuff. Um, so Peggy Carter in Captain America, I want to say it was in, uh, first Avenger. Yeah. Uh, but it might have been in one of the next movies he was in, Winter Soldier or whatever. Yeah. Uh, or even maybe Avengers. Um, when he's like, they're talking to someone about her or looking back on her life, she got married and had two kids. Yeah. In obviously this normal reality. Right. He went to back in time, quote unquote, to that other reality, had a life with her. Those kids don't exist in that timeline unless he. Was like, oh, you still have to go. Was he cuck- Was he what, the side they, dude? Did he let he, himself get cucked? You was, know? Or was he cucking the guy, the other guy? Like, was he her side know. man the whole time? Okay, now you're thinking too much. I know. I know, <laughs> no, no, no. I know. It was brought up in, uh, I, I think it was um, uh, Fat, uh, Fat Man Beyond. Yeah. They brought this up, and I'm like, oh, fuck. They're... No, it was some, something brought the fact up that, yeah, she... She obviously lived her own life. He goes and that that's again, this is why I don't think about the stuff in time travel. Yep. Because it fucks up too much. And this is one of those things that fucked up. Also, this reality, the main I guess let's call it like um what is it in Marvel Comics six two six? I whatever I the, don't know. the normal reality where the movies are taking place. Yeah. Those infinity stones don't exist anymore, so they can do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. For having shit go wrong. Like somebody said, maybe that's how we end up with um, mutants and different things like that because of the missing stones. Does this reality fucking begin to break down or are there, or there's, there's things that happen to it. Eh, maybe, maybe so. Yeah. Maybe that's how they were able to pull off the time shenanigans in the first place. It's true. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's maybe that's why the fucking, they were able to use the quantum realm that way. Yeah. Who knows? I think that's why I like going forward. And I mean, I know we, we not even talked about half the movie, but, I cannot wait for movies like Doctor Strange yeah. because I'm hoping that sort of thing is kind of addressed in that a little bit mm-hmm. because he does dimensions. He's he's the guardian of Earth's dimension. Yeah. Um, you know, from Dormammu and maybe that's maybe that's how Dormammu gets out. Maybe. Um, maybe you so. start seeing those other those, these other cosmic beings or these other dimensional beings. I mean, now that Disney's bought Fox, maybe we'll see Fantastic Four pop up. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Totally. And maybe they'll to join that. the MCU and maybe we'll get some good shit out of I that. Would maybe they'll bring fuck. Doc Doom in as the next big villain. I would fucking love it if the uh, they tie in somehow the um, origin story for the Fantastic Four. Is like they're when they're doing their space stuff when they're out there, and normally it's a uh, it's a, 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 a gamma cosmic ga- 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 a gamma cosmic. Race. It's a comic. It's not gamma. It, gamma's Hulk. No, it's I'm a pretty cosmic, sure it's gamma. It's a cosmic burst. I know that. Well, yeah, but it's gamma radiation. I think it was in the movie because the movie was trash. But well, I don't think it's, I think it's, it's gamma. Not gamma. Ra- it's cosmic. It's power cosmic. Well, it's not gamma specifically. I know it's. Well, I'm like ninety nine percent. Okay, sure I'm looking gamma. at I'm looking at it from the scientific point of view. From the scientific point of view, there's no such thing as a cosmic radiation. Uh, yes, but that doesn't matter because we're dealing with comic. Books I know here. that. That's what that's that's what I'm telling you. Yes. It's like this is why I'm thinking. But is why yeah, because gamma specifically Hulk's thing. I think Maybe, it does remember. But I know I know for a fact it's cos it's the cosmic, whatever fucking fuck yeah. But um, what if uh, I, they change that a little bit? And it's the bleed off from this either the snap one or the snap two. I want them to be like, oh, this happened at this time, and that's what caused them to have their their mutation. Yeah, this, like, this giant because they're burst out of the of atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, that burst of energy. Because I mean that the Infinity Stones, that energy 
that was felt across the rocket says that was felt across the galaxy nothing like that's ever been felt before yeah when he snapped away half the population and then he snapped away the stones it was the second time it was ever felt i think that was that is absolutely perfect for the fantastic fantastic force origin yep. yeah they just got hit with that wave of energy yeah like yeah. if they were out in a space station or if they're out on the fucking moon or whatever they want to say mm-hmm. i think oh that's man right in that movie already <laughs> i hope that i hope that's what they do anyway but you know like that, that but you can hope that's the direction they yeah. decide to go yeah yeah and i mean hey again mutants that whole energy wave pulse through uh, and then people coming back through use of the stones maybe that's where we get more mutations they've acknowledged in the marvel cinematic universe before yeah that there are what they call them metahumans metahumans yeah, yeah. that there are more powerful people showing up than ever have. Yeah, that's what Scarlet Witch and uh, Quicksilver were. They were yeah. metahumans. Metahumans. They were also experimented on by um, uh, uh, Hydra. Hydra. But I mean, that's where, even though it's not tied in, it's technically canon. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Were the Netflix shows? Yeah. Why there's metahumans yeah, showing? Yeah, because um, I mean, there were a couple of them. Like with, like in the Jessica Jones season two, there was that's where there it's was brought up more. Yeah. yeah, there was the 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 guy that moved really really quick. The worst. And there was speed. The, uh, Ever. Yeah. The worst that then there was there no one of the show was canceled. <laughs> <laughs> then there were the yeah. other there were others that were murdered by the company that was dispensing the drugs and doing the experiment yeah. and all that. So I mean, yeah, you know, it's it's the precedent is there. Yeah. Like so you said. I'm wondering if that's how they do it. But again, that's future stuff. Um as far as this movie goes, they they go do the time stuff. It's it's like a look back at Marvel movies. Yeah. I fucking loved it. Yeah. As soon as they show up in goddamn New York during Avengers, yeah, that that I loved that scene. That I was loved that whole so scene. Great that scene and the fight in the center and yep. the way Hulk fucks everything. He's up. like, and maybe smash some things on the way, and Hulk's like, uh, feels gratuitous. <laughs> He's draw <laughs> smack, <laughs> like <laughs> tips a car. No, no, he smashes a he smashes the back corner of a taxi. Yes. and then he throws a bike <laughs> or <laughs> something. It's so great, and jumps off to find the. Uh, Source of Supreme. Yeah, he ends goes up off. finding um, what's her name? I can't remember. Tilda Swinton's character. Yes, which that blew me away. That one, she's in this so much, uh-huh. and two, she's like legitimately has like a big part in this movie. She's, yeah, she dispenses quite a lot of um, uh, exposition, dialogue for yeah. like the how the rules work, and you know, saving everything and again, emotional too. Yeah, when she's like, I'm relying that Bruce. I am, I'm putting everything in you or whatever she says to yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. I was like, holy shit. They did this character better in this movie than they did in Doctor Strange. They sure did, man. Yeah, no, I definitely enjoyed the go back yeah. between the two more than I would enjoyed anything she was in, in, in Strange. Yeah, she was okay in Doctor Strange, but in this, she was like way I, better. I would say she's probably the weakest part in that movie I in, in Doctor Strange. I thought the villain was pretty weak in that movie. I but mean, oh Dormammu? No, 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 no. Um, with oh, freaky eyes. Oh, uh, I don't even remember Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah, Mads Mikkelsen. Mikkelsen. Even Mikkelsen. though I love Mads Mikkelsen, Wait, yeah, was, it was Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah, it was, yeah, it? yeah. Even though I love him, it's just it was kind of meh. He was he, okay. He, he he was definitely weak. Um, yeah. overall. but he, again, he had Marvel movies villain syndrome. Yeah, I've yeah. got the same powers as the hero, but I am evil Rar, which yeah. is like every standalone movie. Has that? It, 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 you know, I got. I should have given a lot more credit to, um, Captain Marvel because she that movie didn't have that. No, and it's like the only one from Iron Man on. They all have. I am the hero's powers, but a little bit better, and I'm evil. Yeah, I, and they do that in fucking Iron Man. They do it in like every goddamn movie. Do they do it? In Cap? They didn't do it in Thor. Cap kind of the I don't the Red Skull's powerful, but I don't know if he's quite like Cap's level. But I mean, he, it just, I, he's not one mediocre of those where villains. He's gonna hold on to like the side of a helipad and keep a helicopter, and the helicopter from taking yeah. off. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. That's, um, that's good. But yeah, like they they didn't do that in Captain Marvel. Um, no, because she was she 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 was she nothing was, at first. Yeah, she's, and then she worked no up to point where she discovered her power and yeah. became just stupidly powerful and there's nothing as powerful as her yeah in that movie, which was cool too no nothing at all once she gets up to power that's it you're fucked um but yeah they those throwbacks when they go back in time and then when they go back further in time with tony and uh, cap going to the 50s 
70s. Was that the 70s? It was 1970. Okay, it, was 70, yeah. it was 1970. In the cameo. Of, Stan uh, Lee Stanley. cameo. Yeah, he's driving Where by. Where they de aged him, but you can't really tell. It just looks like they dyed his hair. <laughs> Basically, all they did, I think. Because he's like, uh, oh, I don't remember what he's driving. Man, he's just driving down the fucking road and he's got a chick in the car. Like, make love, man, not war. <laughs> it's like, yes. Oh, that was good. I that, love was, that. that was excellent. I, I mean,. But yeah, they go back to that military base that they're on. I don't know what the military base where Cap was was I created. I believe that's the base where. Well, yeah, it's where he's created. And if I'm not mistaken, is that where Zola, his computer banks, end up being? Who? Um, in Winter Soldier. Well, in First Avenger, there's a scientist that's building all of Hydra's weapons. Oh yes, yeah, Zola. yeah. That- because uh, yeah. Howard mentions him when he comes down yeah. and meets so Tony. He he was brought to the United States. He's the Hydra agent that, oh my god, I just realized a lot of the stuff that uh, that fucking weirdo believes about the Nazis taking over the U.S. government is literally the story behind Hydra in the Marvel movies. Anyway. Yeah, okay, um, so let's move on. <laughs> so he, uh, he came over, was like, became a scientist in the U.S. He Zola puts himself in a huge bank of computers and they find it in um captain america winter soldier when they're looking for some information on something or whatever they find where they, they're the old fucking um whatever the hell those tape things are called yeah the reels and it's just an entire giant warehouse of those and like a little monitor with zola's face and a shitty <laughs> monitor and that's his brain is that entire room the the they need like a fucking mile sized room with processing power it's funny no, it wouldn't happen. I know it wouldn't happen, but it would it's not hilarious. happen. We can't even do it now. I know, <laughs> but they... we can't even do it now when we can have a memory card the size of my. Well, goddamn they didn't do thumb. it good. <laughs> you know, like it's the size of my goddamn fingernail here that holds more than that entire fucking warehouse did. It's like no, but uh, I it think happened. I think that's the. It might not be the same lab, but that's right. that's what I was thinking when they went there. Right, and he goes and finds the. Well, I know, Tesseract. I know, I do know that uh, now that you said something, that that name was specifically mentioned. Yeah, like because Zola was there. Yeah, that's where he worked. He worked with um, Ke- um, with Howard Howard Stark. Yeah. Howard Stark and uh, and apparently um oh uh, fuck uh, Hank, Hank Pym was there too. So yeah, they all. That's where their special weapons essentially um dart uh. Uh, DARPA, DARPA, yeah, yeah, essentially Marvel DARPA, Marvel DARPA, but yeah, they they that that time travel scene was awesome too. Tony talking to his dad and his dad not knowing at all, but no, having not, that having that little hint of like, like, like this dude's you. weird, yeah. I feel like I know you, and it's you do, weird. just not yet. Yeah, <laughs> funny, but that scene was so like that scene was perfect yeah i and that entire so thing and you know he walks in he sees he sees peggy it's like oh or margaret or whatever who yeah. the fuck it was i don't know they use i think it's name. peggy carter i think they had margaret on the door though didn't they oh you might i don't know maybe yeah, yeah that's what i'm saying right. like i don't know oh, who peggy the fuck... carter maybe is the uh, her granddaughter yes that may make okay. that make that may make sense yeah because i think i'm pretty sure her name was margaret doesn't exist in that timeline anymore. margaret whatever it's like yeah. it was weird but it was like he had her he had that flashback and i think mm-hmm. that's probably where he made that that choice. he made that decision yeah, yeah. Like, like like when this is all when over. this is all over this is where i'm gonna be yeah. this is where i'm gonna end up and it's like that's kind of all right i can dig it man selfish asshole I um, mean, he deserves it come on man <laughs> it's like come the on. worst thing to say about some he deserves oh, the happiness he deserves that i mean i thought okay it wasn't done well but in civil war they were kind of setting him up with the the other chick i just i it's why it kind of came out of left field for me in a way yeah. like i get it they had the flag and you're right i 100 percent. that's where he decided yeah but i still was kind of like he had gotten over this i thought and then now he's pulling out and looking at the thing throughout this whole movie it's just it didn't it that didn't fit with me and civil war very much yeah but again it's this is the end of his, I mean, yeah, this is the end of everything. You look at all the shit they've line. been through up to exactly, this point. Yeah. It's like, you know, you just went through Infinity War. You just lost half of the universe's population. That's a big deal, man. I, I think that is what it, – it's almost like that caused him to start looking back on what he had already gotten over, quote unquote. Mm-hmm. Yeah. After seeing her die in um, – I think Civil War was where they had the funeral for her. Yeah. Yeah, because that's where he met her granddaughter or yeah, daughter. Which or was the first time he met her. He, she was in uh, Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. She's uh, He didn't know she was working for her. She was his neighbor. 
and she didn't know he was working. She was working for um, Shield the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that that time, the time travel in general, where they go in this movie, is, I I love that. Yeah, and then it all culminates to they get it, they make a new gauntlet, which is not as good as oh no, not the, at all, Infinity Gauntlet. No, um, at all. it's one of the things that people you know people argued about. Well, why didn't they use the time stone to do this and different things like that? And I think it all boils down to this gauntlet is not it can't protect the person from the power of the Infinity Stones. Like when Thanos puts it on, he always got that like rush of energy, but it never hurt him. This immediately starts damaging. Yeah, yeah, like you see, like he can barely fucking. Yeah, like the you Hulk see, he puts it can on, can barely deal with. And you see his arm like starting to like deteriorate yeah, away before and, he even snaps, and like all the shoulder in his face, like it's all burning, like yeah. right away. Yeah, and then when he snaps, it's like he it it it's like his arm is like Thanos's after the second time when he destroyed the stones. Yeah, although uh, you you remember in Infinity War the first time he it snaps, was damaged yeah, too. Yeah. All of that was hurt. All that yeah. was damaged. But it it looked like most of it was in the gauntlet. Yeah. The gauntlet was hella damaged, but yeah. he was still fighting uh, after that. Well, no, I no, guess no, because as soon as he was... he snapped, and then Thor, Thor, yeah, Thor had already hit him with the axe. He yeah. snapped and was dipped. Yep. So yeah, yeah. Who knows how bad he was hurt after he snapped? But I don't think that their gauntlet is capable of using the Infinity Stones individually. Um. Uh, no, considering that uh, at some point he actually had to take the Power Stone out and yeah, punch Marvel and off, punch him. Marvel with it, and. KO'd Marvel. Oh, the yeah. Power Stone is fuck. Well, it wipes out planets. We know. Right. It. I mean, it's it's a, it's a universal Ronan level it, power. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. So Ronan puts it in his hammer and is literally going to wipe out an entire planet by tapping it. Yeah. So he basically hit Captain Marvel with a planet. Mm-hmm. Is essentially where the power level I'm kind of guessing is at, which is fucking. It was awesome. Phenomenal. Like, it was that was a good that that scene where they fight. That's where you get okay. Now we have an, a a more fair fight. Yeah. Because up to that point, like she does the thing where he is like putting her down the way he put down Captain America in the first Avengers movie. And she's not, she's fucking overpowering Thanos, yeah. pushing his hand up and giving him this look like I'm, you done fucked up. And, he's looking and like, he headbutts her and it's like, ting, and she's like, really bitch. <laughs> and he has that look of, Oh, oh fuck. fuck! Yeah, <laughs> that's that goofed. But he pulls the power stone and hits her. Holy shit, hard! Yeah, he hits her with the fucking weight of a planet or some shit. Because she gets that's the second time she got knocked back, but that time she got blown the fuck back. So but that's yeah, that's like I said, they never. I think the gauntlet is shit. The well, because it's essentially an iron. It's an Iron Man gauntlet. Yeah, they, no, you it, can't. It's not. It it's can't not the special. Use the power. It's of the not stones. made out of no. dwarven deep space dwarven metal forged in the heart of a neutron star. No, it's made in a shitty lab it's on made Earth. By fucking Iron Man, and it's made of like titanium and uh, aluminum and maybe aluminum. A little, no. uh, maybe a little <laughs> bit of uh, what? What is that? Um, that uh, vibranium. It may, yeah, who knows? it's pro- it's awesome, but it's nothing compared to a dwarven made gauntlet. Yeah, no, it's like I said, especially deep space dwarves in the heart yeah. of a neutron star. Yeah. Got to emphasize Peter that. Dinklage. <laughs> it's Peter Dinklage. Giant Peter Dinklage was there. You cannot beat giant Peter Dinklage at forging things. <laughs> exactly, you, you just can't. So uh, I think that's kind of where because uh, Thanos's power level is kind of some people see it as, and I so I kind of thought it that way too at first, mm-hmm. where he has one stone and bodies the Hulk. Yeah. Um, which kind of, it seemed like that fight was kind of fair. Hulk's putting him, you know, throwing punches, hitting him hard. Yeah. And then he bodies the fuck out of the Hulk with one stone. But I don't think he used it. No, no, I don't think he did. Later on. I mean, I think I actually remember when we discussed that. Yeah. That that was when we went from a technique versus power. Exactly. That's what we were talking about originally where we discussed that. Where, yeah, that, that's where you get raw power of the Hulk versus someone who's almost as strong as the Hulk. Or I think I think actual is technique. as strong. Now, after seeing this movie, easily I think normal everyday Thanos is Hulk power level at least at that point. Right. Because I think Hulk's lost the rage he had before. Any I think oh, he definitely Hulk, has now. <laughs> yeah, anytime the Hulk is like closer to Banner, which he definitely was at, at the end of uh Ragnarok. Yeah. I think he loses strength. Right. Uh and at that point, I mean, considering thin. that like his entire shtick is getting angry and like, that, getting that, stronger, yeah. they never, they never, they haven't done that since the Hulk movie when Abomination should be above and beyond him, and he gets madder and madder to the point where he fucks Abomination's day up and almost cuts his goddamn head off with a chain. 
Which would have been interesting. Which I want to see Abomination come back. But anyway. Eh. Um, I haven't seen that movie in so long. What was that, 2008? I just want another powerful villain. I want to see Hulk have a fight. Yeah. Which he didn't He didn't really even get in this. No, he didn't. No, he he didn't. couldn't even lift up a building. Well, okay, like half a mountain, but still. In the comics, I mean, he yeah. literally lifts a mountain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and, giant, the fact that Giant Man is stronger than the Hulk bothers me. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit weird. Because, like, all right. Physics does not work that way, and I'm not going to go into that. We won't go into I'm that. I'm not going to go into that. Ant-Man already breaks physics But I hate all that. Day. I hate that, yeah. because that does not work in real life. Well, that doesn't even work in comic book life. Like That's not I mean, how it would work. <laughs> By your own rules, that's not how it would work. In movie, yeah. But I'm not going to go into that. Yeah. It's just, it's dumb. <laughs> yeah, it just, it, it did bother me a little bit that the Hulk, okay, it's Banner Hulk, and he did just snap, so I give it a little bit more. One arm is completely I mean, he's fucking fucked. hurt. Yeah. yeah, and they show his arm. To, the Hulk has one of the best healing factors in Marvel. Granted, who knows if we we haven't really seen that yet in the movies? Because again, he gets knocked the fuck out by getting punched by Thanos. Yeah, but uh, he's supposed to have one of the most powerful healing factors. That arm didn't heal at all. Not by the end even of the movie. At the end no. of the movie, no. yeah. yeah. He's, his like arm's even still in the fucked. very last scene, the, where yeah, he's still got the he he's still got has a brace. arm in a sling and stuff like that. Like and it, it's, it's still fucking discolored and grody burnt up a bit yeah so um all right so i don't even remember where we were but either way fucking we skip to the end fight yeah that's awesome. that end fight thanos's where... ship when thanos's ship shows up and destroys the entirety of the avengers uh home base home base that was so um, fucking i was I, like i can't remember what it's called holy either. shit Avengers base. <laughs> no, no, it has a, it has like an actual name. Does they it? use it in the fucking movie, and I can't remember what it is. But it doesn't matter. That, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, he shows up. They're firing their fucking space missiles at it. <laughs> they blow it up with space missiles. Space missiles. Everything is space magic, hmm. right? Like that's how it works now. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's Captain Marvel in a nutshell. Space magic. Yeah, but um, that's Star Wars in a nutshell too. Space yeah, magic. Space magic. But yeah, the, again, the more Hawkeye where he gets to fucking run around with the gauntlet. Yeah, you got you because you know everybody collapses and they all fall into the underground below the the base or whatever. And like you said, Hulk has a fucking building on top of him, and and he was not really able to hold up. Yeah, which like I said, that kind of bothered me. Where okay, this is another thing that just kind of comes out of nowhere. Rhodey, the armor's fucked. Rhodey yeah. gets out of the armor. They. Uh, Hulk's not holding up the building. Ant-Man gets down there and turns into Giant-Man and basically saves them. Right. He has the Hulk and he has them in his hand and open his hand and the Hulk jumps out. Rhodey flies out in new armor. New armor. Like Hulkbuster mini armor. Right. <laughs> what the fuck? Is it just, it's just everywhere? War Machine armor is just lying around for him? Why not? Yeah. I mean, I guess it totally makes sense with the way Tony is. Uh, what, 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 which Iron Man was it where like 30 goddamn fucking yeah, I know, suits I know. of armor he has, show up uh, the Iron Man, Iron Man 3 yeah. where there's so, armors everywhere. Maybe or that's what it is. No, no, they all come from, they all come from his house. They come from they his all, house, They're yeah. all coming out like, I, and they're all uh, fully on top uh, of house this. party protocol. Yeah. So, so there's like, there's like controlled six, by Jarvis. Yeah. But yeah, so like I it, it totally makes sense, but at the same time I'm just like, oh, he found another one. There we go. <laughs> he pushed a button in his leg and by far armor it was the came. coolest looking too. It was so fucking oh my, cool. Oh, dude, the design was I love was War Machine's armor period. It always gets more and more badass, and this one was just so fucking great to show up to. Whereas again. like Tony seems to get more streamlined. Yeah. Where him his just gets bigger and badder. It like, just it's it's it, it runs that line between getting like fucking bigger and bulkier and this time it was like no go fucking this is like like i said this is like his almost hulkbuster yeah armor yeah it's fucking great um but this this before that happens um when the buildings collapse and everything and thor cap and And iron Iron Man. man are standing there and Thanos is just chilling. He's just, yeah, he's, he's sitting, he's sitting on some rubble, like out in the middle is, of, of like a little field of destruction of what's left. They never fail to show how much of just how much of a badass Thanos is and how much of a badass Thanos knows he is. Mm-hmm. He just get the stone for me, daughter, get the, get the, get the stone. He's like, what are you going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to sit wait. down. I'm going to wait. Yeah. He just sits down, yeah, he, relaxes. He takes that little double bladed sword he has, sticks it in the ground, puts yeah. his helmet on top, and just sits there. Which, by the way, I was going to mention this. Um, I thought uh, 
so a couple like a week before the movie came out or a few days before yeah. i went through the toy aisle and i knew i shouldn't because things get spoiled with toys all the time giant Absolutely. man was spoiled by the the fucking legos right but I went to look anyway. One of the things they had is Thanos with that sword thing. Yeah. And I was like, ah, that's dumb. That can't be in the movie. And turns out it is. And it's actually really fucking awesome. It is badass <laughs> as fuck, fucking Batleth thing. Uh, more like, uh, you know what it actually reminds me of? Um, in, in, Star, in the Fantasy Star games, there's actually a double-ended sword like yeah. that. That's what it reminds me of more than a Batleth. It's a Batleth so fucking is, cool. is more like a single bladed thing. Oh yeah, yeah, curved. you're right. It's got a one one yeah. side. But this, and, is, but this is two swords. This is a this is dual lightsaber stuck together at <laughs> the hilt. Some fucking ah, uh, but it was it's so cool. Yeah, it, but it was the Thanos or just the pommel being such a fucking boss, sitting down chilling, and Thor, Iron Man, and Cap looking at him like, all right, let's go fuck this motherfucker up. Let's go get him. He doesn't have the stones. He's vulnerable right now, and they found out that that's fucking not exactly that true. That is not true Thanos at all. is a beast all the time. Yeah, he is. And he kicks their asses, man, too. That fight. Oh, my God. That fight is so good. Mm. It's where it's like I get it, It's like you go to Infinity War when Iron Man and the Guardians and Spider-Man are fighting him. Yeah. And the one time they get the upper hand is when they use um, Mantis. Why is she in anything? Other than the fact that she touches people's faces. And they go to sleep. But... Weird and creepy. <laughs> yeah. So that's the only reason they kind of get the upper hand on him. And, you know, oh, well, I mean, he fights all of them and they hold their own. I Like I've said, I said to you, I think that that whole time, Thanos is just fucking with them. Yeah. He could beat them, all of them. I, he has enough stones that he could unmake them with a fucking twitch. Yeah. He's fighting them just because he, he enjoys fighting. Yeah, I mean, he totally, he totally is. He, enjoys he hits the Tony with a moon at that moment where all of that for a tiny drop of blood, and he smiles about it. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, no, he's playing with him in this fight. He actually has to try. Yeah, he goes all out. Yeah, he's going, he's fighting for his life here, and he fucking knows it. Because when Cap picks up the hammer, which that moment, oh my god, where he's got four Thanos oh, oh, on the ropes. We forgot to what? kind of tell how it got to that point. With the him nebula and them being existing in the same thing and him being able to access the oh and, I just ignored that because I kind of think it's dumb I I agree they that so but that's how he knows that he yeah, has to actually it's why fight. Thanos from the alternate reality from the past yeah ends up knowing that they've got the stones and what's going on and probably why he's so pissed off is that he's like it's they're not trying to stop something I'm going to do. They're trying to undo something I've already done. Yeah. Like, they're, I won, and they're trying to take my win away. Yep. But, um, yeah, the whole idea of, oh, because she's I, I there. Feel like, I feel like she would have known. Like, you had to have known somehow that, was that my, something was going through. Why, your... Especially because it affects the, that timeline's Gamora first. Yeah. It doesn't affect her until the worst moment, and she's debilitated with it. Yeah. It's kind of, it's one of those, okay, you did it for the movie type things. I think... When she got there, she should have immediately been like, oh, fuck, I'm getting... Because they even say there's another nebula on the network. And for some reason, there's apparently a galaxy-wide nebula network. <laughs> um, well, uh, it's more like they were sharing the, the same neuric, neuric pa uh, synaptic pathways. I, I don't know how that works. Yes, that's not how yes, it works. But I assumed it was because they're on the same Wi-Fi network. Because <laughs> that's the way they put it. It's a galactic Wi-Fi network for okay, nebula. Okay, I don't know. I, but... It it's like okay, what well, she should have probably realized it too, or something. I mean, and didn't. And... I don't know if you're if you're that much of a robot, you're gonna know when something's accessing your files, yeah. right? Like you have to have that conscious feeling of something's in it's my like, head. It's like it's like old Nebula downloaded. Maybe okay, if you want to explain it away, old Nebula downloaded new information that hadn't happened, so it scrambled her brain. New Nebula wouldn't have realized anything because she already has all that old information. Right, but but so she wouldn't get any new but, information. But that's the she thing; she wouldn't get that update. When he said, "Can you access her memories?" and he's going through the, uh, the that's new what I'm saying. He's, he's going a, through New Nebula's memories, but how they're he... in Old Nebula's brain. I'm saying Old but Nebula no, but downloaded they're accessing her. New Nebula through Old Nebula, and that's why I'm like, "How no, does that work?" What I'm saying is they're not doing that; that they're accessing New Nebula from Old that's Nebula. That's very much how they made it seem, though. I get it. That's why. That's I'm, why I'm like. This is the. This is the. I think the only way they could excuse it, and kind of where I'm gonna go. Okay, well, fine. We're not trying to excuse it. I'm trying to figure it out. Damn it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is but, I, um, I get. I get the feeling like old Nebula downloaded 
immediately. New Nebulous, but it's like, how does everything. That work too, at the same time, yeah. because they're on the same galactic Wi-Fi there's, there's, nebula network. There's... Her brain is 1.5. New Nebulous is 2.0, and so she has to update to 2.0, and it fucked her whole shit up um... because she couldn't take the first of the firmware update. She hadn't had the emotional. Uh, that she hadn't had that emotional growth yet where she accepts her sister and sees a planet die. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> Dumb yeah, shit. That's, that's, that's all, that's the only thing I can imagine because, like, it's just all of a sudden, oh, now it affects her. Yeah. Or they, maybe they did that on purpose. Because I get a, I get the feeling Thanos probably has a wireless shutdown nebula switch. Probably. Because maybe, to a degree. Probably. You think I mean, he would use it at some point. Fucks, at this point. I mean, he's never had a reason to before. She's like a fucking beaten dog. Most of the time. So anyway, we get back to that fight. Yeah, because that whole thing. That's why Thanos shows up there. But that fight where it's Cap, Thor, and Iron Man versus Thanos is so fucking knocked down, drag out. Oh my god, yeah. And it's so good. Dude, when he started breaking Cap's shield with that big-ass sword, I'm like, what the fuck is that sword made of? That thing is massive. It it broke, too, at some point. Yeah, uh, Captain Marvel broke it. Either Captain Marvel... No, not Captain Marvel. Scarlet Witch broke it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. she falls... But yeah, he's but sitting yeah, there just swinging he's that motherfucker. swinging at Cap full fucking force, and the shield's kind of taking it, and then starts breaking, like sliced apart. Mm. And Cap gets his leg sliced or something. His arm looks like it's fucking broke. Yeah. Um. And he at that moment, Thanos's army arrives. Yeah. Cap fucking tightens the thing. Oh well, be- I'm sorry. Before that, he picks up the hammer. Thor's about to go down. Yeah, Thanos is going to do to Thor what Thor did to Thanos with in the, Infinity with Stormbreaker, War. With Stormbreaker, he's pushing the axe yeah. into his chest slowly, which yeah. is like I'm watching this going, "Oh no! Don't kill, don't Thor. kill Thor! Don't kill Fat Thor! He's awesome!" And then you sit there, and you, it cuts to the hammer just sitting just there in the dirt, and it just lifts up. And then the next thing you know, Thanos is hit with it from a fucking across the back away. And Thor looks over. I knew it. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's Captain Cap America so catching that fucking thing. Like, hanging. yes. The shield in one hand, the busted ass shield in one hand, and the hammer in the other. Yes. And fits the fucking um, the enchantment on the hammer to a T. Mm-hmm. He who is worthy, whatever it is exactly, he who would be worthy has all the power of Thor. Yeah. Because he had all the motherfucking power of Thor. He's sitting he there summoning lightning. He's whoop-assing on Thor. He lightning. He's flinging the hammer, f- throws the shield, smacks the shield with the hammer, so the shield bounces off Thanos' head. He flings the hammer, hits him with the hammer. It was so fucking awesome. It was, it was amazing. He's playing like pinball with Thanos. He fucking sits there and pulls a hammer up to the sky, summons a big ass bolt of down. lightning down on Thanos, and it's like, Argh. yeah, oh, it was so fucking cool. That and then is... he gets his ass beat. <laughs> yeah, he gets knocked back by Thanos again, and then at some point he hits. I think he hit Iron Man with the hammer. Mm-hmm. Like Thanos is about fucking up Iron Man, he flings the hammer and it's yeah, he's about Iron to, um, Man. he kind of picks Iron Man up like he's about to do to him what Bane did to fucking <laughs> yes. Batman and. Cap knocks him away. Yeah. I thought at first, like the first time I watched it, I thought, oh shit, he accidentally hit Iron Man. But then you go to the second time and I'm looking and I'm paying a little bit more attention. It's like, no, he's about to break Iron Man. Yeah, and he, if he, he didn't totally do that, hit him on the, he hit him on purpose. Yeah, like but he still hit Iron Man with goddamn Thor's hammer. Smack the kind of shit out of You just hear that ding and Iron Man goes <laughs> fucking flying. <laughs> um. Oh, I love the callback to uh, Avengers when the start of the fight Iron Man lands and like opens up this power generator in the back and's like Thor hit me and Thor uh, hits him with fucking lightning and powers him up and just blasts this massive blast of energy into Thanos. Yeah, that was so fucking cool too. Because it could remind you when they were fighting in the forest exactly. and he hits it, it him with the lightning. Exactly that power levels are four hundred percent. Huh. Well, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Um. Th- when Cap is fighting him, at one point he the shield is behind Thanos. Thanos is about to hit Cap. He flings the hammer at the shield. It smashes the shield and does that shockwave, which knocks Thanos off. Balance. Yeah. Like, there's, there's that. Oh, Cap is such a fucking awesome fighter. He really is. He's taking on Thanos. He's way below power level of Thanos, but with the hammer, he's legitimately holding his own for a while there. For a little while, yeah. He's able to hit him way harder than he would be with his oh fist. Oh, God. He fucking beats the shit out of him for a while. For just for like half a second. I mean, it's it's a good it's a good bit. Like it's one of those things where it's like if Thanos doesn't get back up, I think that fight is pretty close. Yeah. And then if Thor shows back up, 
I think that fight goes. Um, I think that fight goes in their favor. I think they kill Thanos at right. that point with Thor, and, like him using the shield. Thor and uh, uh, Iron Man shows him back up. Yeah. Show him back up. Yeah, I think they win, but Thanos' army shows up at that moment. Right, and Cap stands up like he fucking all alone. He's gonna take on the army, and the fucking one of probably my favorite line in the whole goddamn movie uh when you hear um falcon falcon come over hey cap you okay uh, cap cap you okay he's like huh and he's like on your left and he's like what and the fucking portal opens and to out walks the um oh his what? sister and the mm-hmm. head of the uh, uh king's guard i can't ever remember her name oh, her name starts with an o i yeah. remember that much oh oba oba Oh, oh, like Terry? oh, okay. Whatever. But she shows up. They show up and he just kind of fucking... He just stands there and Panther, like... Black Panther nods at him and Cap's like, oh, am I seeing things? And then just portal, 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 portal. It was so... That moment in this movie is the fuck yeah moment. Because when we... Opening night, literally, the whole fucking theater went crazy. They went crazy when Cap picked up the hammer. Uh-huh. I did too. That's like... Oh, yeah. And normally I'm not, I don't yell or clap it during movies. When that cat picked up the hammer, I was like, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> because that's one of those things. That's like a, what if Marvel comics moment? Where yeah. Cat uses Zor's hammer and yeah. whoops the shit out of some big bad, but that was fucking awesome. And then all those portals opening up again was just like, holy fuck. Yeah. You got all the, old... all the characters start showing up uh-huh. and then fucking armies of yeah. different people start showing up. You got to child those people. You've got, the fucking monks from Doc Strange. Yeah, the Doctor Strange uh, carry like fucking mages getting off their goddamn asses for once. Doing some shit. Um the 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 uh Asgardians mm-hmm. too. They, they're, I, all, I they're all decked out. I didn't even notice them other than Valkyrie showing up, yeah. uh, who was fucking massive in the final fight, but I didn't I, I didn't even notice them. They show up and you could see them in their fucking gold armor and shit. I was like, oh shit. Okay, they're here too. <laughs> the second time. Yeah. Which I had heard they were there, and I kind of knew they were there, but, you know, I actually, oh, I noticed them this time. Right. And then Ant Man busting out as Giant Man. Yeah. Just kind of still bothers me. He seems so to be stupid. stronger than Hulk, or at least as strong. I mean, okay, but in that particular instance, you know, that that's physics coming into play. You got something expanding. Oh, yeah. So, he, totally busting it off, but I just think, and like we said, Hulk was fucked up at that point because the gauntlet. Was very fucked up, yeah. Um, and then that whole fight. This fight is so fucking awesome from beginning to end. Spider Man is awesome. This fight. Everybody's um, fucking Mantis. shit up. Mantis. Why? Okay. So we'll get to that. Oh my god. Um, because Scarlet Witch has her moment first, right? I uh, I believe so. Yeah. She, yeah. she. So Thanos is walking towards him. She shows up. You took everything from me. Blah. Yeah. Scarlet Witch shows up. She. Her eyes are glowing. Fucking. Which they've always glowed red. Yeah. I think they glowed a lot brighter this time. They were definitely way she more. She looks noticeable. at him. With the amount of hate and just fucking, I'm going to do so much violent things to you. Uh-huh. And she starts fighting Thanos, and Thanos, like, at one point has her, like, n- you know, on the road. Like, on the she's defensive. Holding, yeah, she's on the defensive, holding him back, and she fucking smirks at him. And at that moment, I was like, oh my god, is she a villain? Because <laughs> she <laughs> looks so sadistic and just starts fucking fighting. Beating the shit out of Thanos, damn near kills Thanos, her fucking self. Uh huh. Like by tearing him into pieces is what I get that she was trying. Yeah, to no, do. she was. Pissed. She had her energy just fucking holding him, and you can Lifted see his armor. Yeah. His armor's just ripping apart. And yes. stuff. It's like I oh was my sitting god. there going, "Oh my fucking god!" She's on that power level. She's on the power level with Thanos. She's on that power level with Captain Marvel. She fucking, you don't fuck with Scarlet Witch in the MCU. She's fucking strong. Yeah, she's gonna she, tear you to shreds. She's literally, literally going to tear Thanos into itty bitty pieces. That was so fucking awesome to see. And then he calls down the ship to blow rain up. of fire. Yeah, rain of fire to blow up everybody, mm-hmm. which starts fucking things up. Um, and then while everything's getting fucked up, all of a sudden they stop firing. I, I they, do love they, her entrance. All of the all of the all of the weapons point in one direction. What are they firing at? What Something the just entered the atmosphere, and you know what's coming. But at the same time, 
it's like, kind of like, wait, what? And what's then, going on? And as then soon as you sudden, see the fireball. There's just a streak of energy that shoots through the fucking ship. Oh, yeah. Swings back around and shoots through it again. Swings back around and shoots Captain through it Captain Marvel fucking comes in like the, the goddamn Deus Ex beast. Machina. Yeah, she's Captain Deus Ex Machina. Again, like I said, I don't I don't like that they so under had her in this movie. She And mostly because I wanted to see her develop character. Right. Um, even, because she did not do a very good job of that in her movie. Yeah, her movie is kind of... Well, because she's not herself. Right. For the majority of that movie, she's kind of cocky. You could see that that's a part of her personality when she realizes who she is. Right. But it's like, I wanted to see more of that. And yeah. I was kind of hoping that they would have a scene with her and um, uh, Nick Fury at the end or something, at least, to get that. But you don't. Like, at most, she smirks at Thor when he's like, I like this one. And it's just she didn't... Hey, Peter Parker. Yeah. Hey, Peter Parker. You got <laughs> that's something so for me? weird. You got something for me? it's like it's like i i want to like this character so hopefully moving forward we get more from her right but that being said this entrance just like when superman shows up and all the things justice league yeah like from the cartoons on yep. and just the way he shows up in justice league movie holy fuck it's awesome it, it is, is that totally giddy is. kid inside me moment where she fucking blasts through that ship and then comes in and knocks the shit out of thanos <laughs> The whole, the whole, what are they shooting at? <laughs> it's her. Oh, it was so cool. That was, that was amazing. And, and she's just sitting there beating the hell out of him. Yeah. Oh, but the women empowerment moment. We got to yes, talk about this. I love the women empowerment moment. I loved the moment. I really fucking yeah. did. My heart of hearts. I loved it. But why was, why, why? Why is it just a moment? Why is, well, no, why is Mantis there? Oh, yes. So, <laughs> she doesn't so, yeah. fucking do I love, anything. I love this moment because you got everybody. You even got Guardian. You got Nebula and you got, Gamora. You got Gamora. You, you yeah, had you, Val- Valkyrie. You had all the you Scarlet, Scarlet Witch. Witch. You, um, uh, what's Tony's wife's name? I Pepper Potts. Pepper Potts, yeah. yeah she shows Pepper up Potts in the, shows up in the, in the, in the rescue. Re- is it rescue? I keep forgetting the name of it. I don't know She what shows it up is. in fucking See, that, Power Armor. That doesn't show up as far as I can remember that never showed up in the series that I watched as a kid so I can't I can't speak on no, it. No, I don't think so. It's in the comics but I don't remember because they teased it before. Right. And then obviously that you see the helmet earlier in this Right, movie. yeah, you, you do. Um, But yeah, they show all the female characters save for Black Widow because she's dead. Right. Which we didn't even really talk, touch too much on but they go and her and Clint fight. The fight was cool. Like I get what everything there, but right. then you know, you kill her and maybe she'll come back. But they have this moment and it has me going like, okay, this this better not be their way because I I'm not one of those like oh we have to have you know more um, like women's movies we have to have a a, a woman Avengers right we don't like you signal yeah I'm yeah. not I'm not the kind of like you don't I don't think you have to have that just for the sake of having it right. I want to have more female superheroes I Absolutely. want a Black Widow movie. Yeah, especially if it's not a prequel because I don't like backstories. Um, movie, I got it. She's why? Why do I care what she was? I see what she is now. I see her growth as a person. Right. Um, I want to see her continuing story. So maybe it's her time time traveling. Who knows? But so I'm I'm down for a female Avengers movie if there's a point. And this moment made me go, okay, I would watch this movie. Mm-hmm. This was fucking awesome. It was. It was amazing. It's, it's weird. It's weirdly thrown. It's obviously thrown in fan service. Right. But I don't see that as a bad thing. No, I think not there's at all. Not that, this, this whole movie was lots of fan service. I mean, it, it, I I would say everything that happened, all the big cool shit, was all fan service. Yeah. Absolutely, like a- everything. Cat in this picking movie. up Thor's hammer, of course. All of the time travel stuff, going all back it. to those old movies. And oh yeah, all and that stuff. nostalgia too. Yeah. Um, so I I had no problem with it except for the fact that fucking Mantis show. Why are you even here? Why are you here? You okay? Go away. I even said how you can make Mantis awesome in the scene is if she's just jumping around tapping people are tapping the fucking the scroll uh the, whatever they are yeah whatever the fucking i don't know what they the are the evil either. monkey forearm monkey things the fucking um the guys from uh uh the first or uh the avengers uh the chitari right like if she's jumping around tapping them in the head and they're just getting knocked out or if she's mind controlling them that's that would be fucking cool i'm cool you have that. seen her do literally nothing in any movie ever other than touch thanos's head Oh, well, or she touched the planet. Yeah, I was gonna say she made in, ego uh, fall asleep. Too. Yeah, that is all she's done. Why is she there? Get the fuck out of here, you stupid bug person! <laughs> you have no purpose here. She's just, she's just an adorable Why are you goofy here? filler. Hawkeye has more purpose here than you. Exactly, he totally does. He's, he's killing Yakuza members. What the fuck are you doing? He's got a sword and a bone out. 
what are you doing? Like, even in the scene, they all, they blast Thanos like a bunch of them. They fucking go and destroy this army. Motherfucking, um, the, the chick we were talking about, the, the head of the guard, of the King's Guard. Oh, yeah, Oboe. Uh, oh, or, I, I need to look up her look name. Just look up her name. I, I she gotta fucking, know They go running at Thanos' army, and, um, one of his, the children of Thanos, the Dark Elf dude, who fucking damn near killed Vision himself, or basically did, yeah. beat Vision twice. She fucking runs straight at this dude. No fucking pretenses, no nothing. Just fucking murks him to death with the spear. Oh, absolutely, Just yeah. fucks him up, and he's done. Just kills him dead to rights immediately. They all go to town on Thanos' army. It's okay, fucking it's great. Okay, or Okoye. I know how they have pronounce. Yeah, I know how they pronounce it in this But yeah, she she says fuck this. I'm not. That was I'm not so dealing. great. She's so she's, he doesn't like jump and flip around, and she just fucking stabs him like into the dirt. Yeah, she like, well, she comes up yeah, and then oh, lifts yeah. him and throws him. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. yeah, no, she fucking throws him away. She like fucking he, flings like his he's like, trash. Get the fuck out of my way. It was asshole. so fucking cool. But I mean that, that and scene Gamora was great. running up, jumps off a fucking thing, and kills one of those giant ape motherfuckers. Yeah. like. And what, what Valkyrie was, goes and sla- like kills a leviathan her fucking self. Yeah. Um, so the, does Scarlet Pepper Witch. Scarlet Witch oh, kills Scar- the yeah. other one. Like I thought Potts did. No, it was Scarlet Witch. Was, she okay. sat there and yeah, you, she, you she fucking red shits it. Yeah, wraps it. Crushes it. Fucking yeah, throws it off to the side um, or whatever. Yeah, I mean that that was that was fucking awesome. And but but seriously, like why why is Mantis why there? Why is Mantis there? Did she? Every I didn't see her do person. anything there. I did like they cut. She just kind of looked there, like and with then her they flip to them charging her the army, meek, like her little meek thing, and then they all start running, and that's the last like, you I see of her. I don't think she's even there in the charge. I need to see. I, I when it comes on a Blu-ray, I'm going to be watching to see if they You're show no, her frame by frame, frame by frame, to see if she's there or if she immediately like she's running with them and then turns and runs <laughs> the other direction. What is she gonna do? Or ducks and hides in a fucking pit hole or something. She's useless. She's completely. She's fucked. there for like adorable filler comedic relief type shit. It's uh, there could be a moment where she like like um, Drax. I don't yes. think they show him much. The one time I remember um, seeing him in the fight, he jumps on the back of one of those gorilla things, and, just and you him. hear him laughing as he's going ah, <laughs> stabbing the shit out of him. <laughs> it's like, yep, that's what Drax do. That's, that's a Drax thing. That's but what, I mean, I can give her something where she jumps on one's back and knocks it out and goes, yeah, I got one. Like, or jumps on his back and mind controls it. That would be great. And it's just beating the shit out of everything or, around it. <laughs> see her riding a Leviathan as it's so just smashing shit because she mind controls it. I, I don't know. I don't even know if you can do that. Can you do that? I don't know. Oh, fuck it. The Chatari come out of those things. I don't know. But either way, it's like, why are you here? You're not holding a gun, a knife, or anything. You have nothing. But that scene is cool. I, I would totally, I'm down for uh, a female a female team-up movie. I don't think you'd call it, like, the female Avengers or anything like that. Yeah. You run that movie like, okay, you start off with either, you know, call it Black the Marvel Widow comes back. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. You start off with somebody calling somebody else for help, fucking uh, Black Panther's f- busy or some shit, or um, g- you, just whatever you come up with to put them together. I don't think that's that difficult. No. Especially with uh, Valkyrie becoming the, the leader of the... Um, Asgardian people. Asgardians. I mean, she, like, okay, she has a problem. Yeah. Something's uh, attacking the Asgardians. She goes and looks for help, and uh, uh, Tony's done. Yeah. He's gone. Thor is fucking with the Guardians. If the Avengers are all out on a job... Cap's, uh, Cap's fucking retired. Yeah, he's old man Captain America now. Like, who does she, she... Who does she... Well, her specifically, she does... She knows them from this moment, but she doesn't know any of them other than Hulk. Right. So, you could have the Hulk be that bridge of, oh, I know somebody, and, you know, she starts getting people together but I, I think that would make it a pretty fucking awesome movie that would be that would be great because it made a really good scene it made an excellent scene like f- you know them just fucking sitting there taking shit out as yeah. marvel's going through with oh my she gauntlet. just blasts through the fucking whole army which <laughs> she could have done from the get-go she, she could have just what she does to spaceships she could have just done back and forth to thanos's army and the movie would be over yeah <laughs> That's it. That's all she needed. Yeah. I mean, yeah. she takes it's out that... a, she takes out a fucking spaceship that's what a third of the size of Earth by just flying. Through exactly. It. Why she not? took out a fleet of ships in her own movie. Yeah, that's true. She took out the Thanos ship like it was nothing. Like she, she literally could have just pinballed through the entire <laughs> army and it'd be done. But again, the Superman problem. How do you effectively keep this character from null and voiding your whole movie? But then she has that fight with Thanos. Like she's trying to get to the the, the truck. 
Mm-hmm. And Thanos flings his busted ass spear thing into it. Sword. Sword thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, at that point, he uses it like a spear. That's true. <laughs> he fucking. <gasps> because Scarlet Witch fucked it up, man. Yeah. Like half the blade is missing on one side. Which is, that thing cut uh, the cap shield, shield apart. Yeah. And, yeah. and Scarlet Witch busted it. Mm-hmm. So fucking cool. Mm-hmm. She's a beast. She is a fucking but, uh, badass. But yeah, then Bamf. he fights. He fights her. Ends up getting the gauntlet, fighting her, pulling the power stone off, doing that just awesome punch. Uh, that looked like it hurt too. Oh yeah, oh, no, God. she's. I am fully convinced that she's KO'd at that point. <laughs> he literally just knocked out someone who's a planet, who's like planet killing power level. Yeah, I mean, with planet killing power level, because that's it's, that's what the power stone is. He mm-hmm. fucked her day up. He. I mean, that was the biggest hit in the movie. Easily. Yeah, easily. Um, because he, I don't think he can use any of the stones. Because he could have blasted her, done rays, fucking time. He could have literally, with the Infinity Gauntlet in Infinity War of Thanos, he, he, when he had the reality stone, he turned the Guardians into bubbles. Yeah. And, and ribbons. And... and butterflies I yeah think. like whatever it was like he 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 can do anything and then he just chooses not to this time i don't think he i don't think the gauntlet allowed him to do anything yeah i don't think the gauntlet had like the control that mm-hmm. it needed um which is why he went to the deep space doors and peter dinglich giant peter dinglich to begin with exactly yeah so i mean but um yeah and then he iron man shows up to fight him one more time because and... he looks over at fucking yeah, the Doctor this Strange. Is the, this is the this, comment moment. This it's, is that this is that callback. That big he's callback holding moment. the goddamn ocean from coming in, and he just looks. He just looks over. They're, they're looking. They have that eye contact, and he just holds up his hand with just, the one, the one finger, the one. This, this is the one. This is the one. And that's when I think Tony knew the whole time. Yeah, and that's when Tony knows I'm. I've got to die. Yeah. I, I'm going. It, this is how. I'm this going. is how it ends. Yeah. I'm saving it, which is a, it's a straight callback to him. Yeah, where he takes the nuke up into space, knowing it's a one-way trip. Yep. Um, but still, just barely fucking makes it. He makes it there this time. He does not. Yeah, no. This is this is the the one-way trip. But I this think, is Endgame. I think he's coming back as an AI. Honestly, I think I, I eventually we're you going can see to him hear replace him, Friday. See him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not replace Friday, but I believe that there'll be something with him later on down the line. Maybe. Maybe not. I just maybe I, I maybe think, he'll be a, like an independent suit. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, or I mean, I could see them reconstituting his body, and if they want to do that, that's kind of more of a comic booky thing. I, I, I don't think tend so. to move on more. I mean, I mean, unless unless Tony, you know, unless RDJ is like, oh yeah, I'll do some voice acting for you. Exactly, yeah. I could see that. that but that's, but uh, probably that, not. That's probably what'll happen. Yeah. Um. Because I mean, he he's done, and Scarlett Johansson's not quite done, but she's close. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking she's got her own movie. I don't think it's going to be a prequel. Well, that's why I said she's she's not quite done, yeah. but she's close. I think she's definitely, and we know I know she's coming back for that. But I think that's how she's going to come back in the in the cinematic universe overall. I mean, maybe not. I, I but to me, like, that's a pretty big plot hole if she doesn't. Yeah, because that's the whole thing with the Soul Stone. Then, right. Then what did Cap do with the Soul Stone if he didn't give it back? And if she doesn't yeah. come back, is it just here? I'm giving you the stone back. This is the Red Skull. Uh, once it's been taken, cannot be returned. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the stone back. It's, it's got to go back where it was. Well, you can't soul for a soul. It's, no, no. Here, I'm going to just put this on the ground and leave it. You do with it what you will. It's staying here. I gotta go. I got <laughs> just, shit to do. And then Cat fucking double taps away with the little watch thing. Just poof. As the red skulls just stand there like, what the fuck do I do now? <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. They never told me about this. Oh man, but yeah, that when Cap takes the stone, or like Thanos tries to snap, oh and my nothing god, happens. that was beautiful. That yeah. look on his face, that whole oh the moment. I when, am inevitable. Inevitable. Snaps, and then he looks over. He, he he snaps. Nothing happens. So he snaps again. Looks, yeah. Looks over at Tony, and I am Iron, Iron Man. man. <laughs> Iron Man snaps. Snaps his fingers. Oh, that was so good. Just to go back to that first movie. Um, also, that scene was apparently suggested by, like, a fucking... I, I can't remember. It's not quite like a 
a Mike boy or something like that, but suggested by someone else. Like a group that, or something? That was the last thing that they had to go back. They had to call Robert Downey Jr. and be like, hey, can you please come back for one more reshoot? That uh, was the last thing they filmed. That was like a hurry up film because that was not in the original script. Somebody came up with that and they were like, no, we have to add that line. That is amazing. We can't. Because they they were they had no idea they, they when they ended the movie there they didn't have anything they didn't so it would have just been him snapping it wouldn't have it wouldn't have been, felt right yeah but you throw that line and then I am Iron Man. I, I love that I love because he stops he looks and I am he has that moment of like clarity Iron Man Iron Man snaps and stabs his fingers ah oh, fuck you Thanos that's so amazing and and he, he snaps and the wave goes out and all of a sudden. Oh, yeah, it, I don't remember who it cut to, but it cuts to one of the women. They're getting they're getting beat down. Or no. It cuts to Rocket about to be to Rocket, eaten by a fucking eaten, Leviathan. Eaten by the Leviathan. And it just... He actually gets his jaws around him, and then it just turns and to ash. It turns to ash as it's landing on him. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. Yeah, it was, I was just like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, it was so close. But this episode's running on really long, but that's okay, because yeah. we missed last week. Yeah, we missed um, last week, so we apologize for that, but yeah. My schedule course, flipping was... Know. My schedule flipping was really fucky. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, you sit there, you get back to the movie. It's like, oh my god, that's amazing. Oh, oh that Thanos watching his army turn Just, to dust. Yeah, and and fucking um, uh, fucking what is that D- jackass's name? I don't know, but the, I got a fly in the house now, and that's annoying. Yeah, the 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 wizard dude who's one of Thanos's uh the children of Thanos or whatever. Yeah, yeah, the, I don't remember. His Proxima name. Midnight. No, that might be the chick's name. Uh, Whatever he Thanos says his name in Infinity War, and that's what pisses me off. Why I can't remember it. But he, as he walks up, and he's got this like, "Daddy," and he falls over in dust. Uh, and Thanos is just the look on his face of it's not e- it's not even acceptance, but of defeat. Like Ebony Maul, Ebony Maul, yeah. Uh, the look on his face of like, fuck, <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. And then he falls to dust too. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Okay. So something I was thinking about, like this came to my mind after the last movie. Yeah. Where the fuck does Gamora go? That's a good question. Because depending on what the Iron Man, uh, Tony was thinking, did she turn to dust? Did she go back to her own time? Is I don't she know. still, is this a way that you get her back into Guardians of the Galaxy? I don't know because at the end of the movie, when they're all going their separate ways, she's not on the Guardian ship. Nebula is the there, yep. but she is not. She's not on the ships. And I noticed the second time, because I saw it, but I didn't re- read it, um, when Quill, uh, everyone walks in and he flips away. What he flips away from is a picture of Gamora, yeah. and it says searching next to it. Yeah. So here's my thing. What are you, thir- what are you searching? There are no spaceships on Earth no. capable of travel like that. Thanos is, everything Thanos had was snapped away. Right. The only ship on Earth capable of space travel like that is the Guardian ship. Right, which they're so, on. Where is she then? Where'd she go? Where do they? Well, I guess okay, that's not true because Hulk left Earth in one of the uh, one of those ships, one of the Avengers ships, at the end of Age of Ultron. Right. Yeah, he left on the uh, Quinjet. Yeah, he left. He so Quinjets are capable of escaping Earth's atmosphere and apparently somehow hitting a wormhole. I don't fucking get that, but, um, space magic. Yeah. Space magic. Happens. So maybe she finds and steals a Quinjet, but otherwise, like, why did she not talk to any afterwards? You would think that they would have had a conversation like, okay, so did they set her up? Like I'm, I'm leaving. I want to go my own way. It's fucking. You'd think Gamora would have been able to convince her to travel with the guardians, even if she didn't really know Peter Quill at that point. Right. That was kind of a funny reunion. She fucking knees him twice in the dick. You missed there, the you first missed time. Got, got them both the second time. Got them both the second time. <laughs> and she's like, this is the one. Gamora's like, yeah, it's that or a tree. <laughs> so, yeah, Nebula walks up. It was, Nebula, either, yeah. him, it was either him or a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, poor Peter Quill. Oh, hey, there I was know, no, right? I thought maybe they would have some bit of redemption for him. And they didn't. No. Other than no, him no. getting his just desserts. Which he deserved. Hit in the nuts. Yeah, he totally yeah. deserved that for fucking up everything in for, the last uh, movie. Yeah, causing the end of the goddamn half the galaxy. God damn it, dude. You couldn't have held on for just 20 more seconds. They had the gauntlet off. They had it. We had it. It was done. We could. Well, I mean, Thanos is still a beast. He probably. Oh, absolutely. He probably could then have kicked all of their asses and taken the gauntlet back. Right. But (laughs) But... they had the gauntlet. 
That's Doctor Strange could have. Th- yeah, oh, he... I was going to complain about that too. Which one? Another keep this person out of the fight the whole time because they're too powerful. Doctor, Doctor Strange. Strange. Yeah, yeah. The, they, that, the water how, thing. They, was they distracted convenient. him with the oceans yeah. falling onto the island or whatever. Which um, some something I was reading a thread. Somebody's like, okay, there's a thousand things he could have done to keep. Could have frozen the water in front of it. Could have done this and that. Yeah, and yeah, like. Yeah, but again, it's it's a convenient way to keep someone that's super super fucking powerful out of the fight i mean and it's like how uh uh tilda swinton's character says because i don't know what her actual name's supposed to be because she's not source of supreme she's, but she is a source of she supreme. is source of supreme yeah um you sit there she <laughs> said that strange was meant to be the best of the us. best of us yeah. yeah so it was like huh okay so she knows yeah that well because she's uh, she's been breaking the rules the whole time right yeah, yeah. They, drawing, she's been drawing, fucking with time drawing power and, from the dark side yeah. and all that from the dark realm keeping what? herself alive until dr strange was ready yep but um yeah i i honestly uh i that was one of those things where i was like yeah i kind of wish i wanted to see dr strange come out and fight more yeah like he did infinity war was pretty fucking cool seeing him fight thanos and do like the multiplication stuff Mm-hmm. And throw in lots of different magic and those like whip thingies. And yeah, that, that was, was awesome. Fun. I really would have liked to that see more. That was a really strange. good light show. Yeah, yeah. Um, and instead, he's playing with water. He's holding back the ocean on that one yeah. side, like, which is impressive. Oh yeah, great. But sure. I mean, when he turns it into a giant water funnel, he couldn't have like taken that as a tornado and just taken it across a bunch of the army or something. Like, Right, it's like a you can you can sit there and wipe out. Like you got a vortex of water. You have a you have a giant like hydro a water tornado. tornado. You have a hydro tornado. <laughs> fucking use it, man. Yeah, it's kind everything of... needs oxygen or something. Or he could have directed the fucking tidal wave towards the enemy army. Something, but I get it. It's one of those things where it's like okay, you got to take him out of the fight because he take, can win it. Yeah, he's super powerful. You take him out of the fight so that he doesn't like do something to negate half the other right cast. Yeah. or he could have like when spider-man is running away to portal portal yeah and spider-man's right there at the truck yeah which i still don't get how other than oh somebody jumps through time then thanos can't but i mean you still have an entire army you're fighting yeah there's still a whole battle there to try and keep this reality right alive because thanos is i i fully think his plan wasn't just use the gauntlet he was going to do what he did to all those other planets to earth by his army going and just wiping out half the population because that's what they normally do i i i think that this time because of some of the things he said but you know all the time all the oh he would have wiped out the entire planet. he would have wiped yeah, out yeah, the yeah. entire planet yeah. well there would have been no half he was yeah. like no this this planet getting needs the to go. getting the gauntlet because this planet where it's just one stubborn ass fucking world yeah um but the getting the gauntlet he even says he's not even gonna do half he's gonna re make the galaxy which i think if i'm not mistaken is a good is a great callback to the infinity war comics uh-huh. where i believe either that's what he does or that's what nebula tries to do because she gets the gauntlet at one point right oh um, that's interesting yeah i'm pretty sure nebula got it after um somebody somebody the the, the adam warlock right defeats thanos or so i don't know i i i, I don't I never read it. I've just heard and seen. Yeah, other secondhand things. accounts. Yes. Yeah. But I think so, there's. I know there's something about remaking the galaxy there. Right. So I think that's kind of a reference to throw back to that, mm-hmm. which was pretty interesting. But yeah, man, that movie start to finish was fucking great. Emotional. Right. Iron Man dying. Yeah. Oh Tony my God. Stark dying. He's finally out. He's finally done with the Marvel movies. I cried. I I, I had I did. a tear. Yeah. Um, I was holding him back like, oh no. I mean, I did the same thing when Spider-Man was lost, and then at yeah. the very beginning, you got Tony walking off, and he's looking at Cap like, "I lost the kid, I, I, I lost him, I yeah, lost him, that he's, was he's gone." And I, I was like, "Oh no!" Yeah, like because it's emotional. Fuck. Yeah, but and he got him back, and that that's what did it for me. That's what killed me was when um, he shows Spider-Man, up. He's Peter, like, Mr. Stark, Mr. Stark, Mr. Stark I'm, I'm back, I'm back. You did it, hey, Mr. Stark. We've been gone You're for a while. Hey, I turned to dust on that weird planet. And it's just happened. And the wizard's like, I'm "We gotta go, up. man." Yeah, I woke up and everything's fine. Like, where's the like, It's been five years. Like, really good I love I'm that. Like, okay. And there's just that hug. Yeah. That genuine The hug, hug that he's wanted the whole time. Yeah. From Tony. Oh. He's like, oh, this is nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man. That was good. That was, that was, so, that was, uh, oh. was so sad. It was. it was. It was that. It was like you said. It was that gut punch. Man. Yeah. It was just totally like, oh, I didn't expect that. Oh, why are you going to make me feel, Marvel? I came here to see Thanos die, not to feel. Um. 
That's why I want I, the next Spider-Man movie. Really fucking interested me because I think there's two ways they go with it. Yeah. Um, Mark Bernard, because I was listening to Fat Man on Batman on the way over here, he's, his whole theory is that that bus scene from Infinity War, yeah. that is them coming back and leaving the airport after the events of Far From Home. Yeah. Um, which is why he, uh, you know, he leaves the suit. He doesn't have the suit in the trailer so far from Far From Home. Mm. Um, so he thinks that it's a prequel right before Infinity War. Ooh. That's them come back from the field trip. So it kind of connects Homecoming to Infinity War. Yeah, sort yeah. of. Yeah, uh, far from home to Infinity War, because um, they go to pa- the whole movie takes place in Paris, or right? France or whatever, somewhere in Europe. So oh no, I get that. What I'm saying is, it links this that would Spider-Man be a prequel. Movie. It yeah. links that Spider-Man movie to what like it catches up from what happens there to where he shows up in Infinity War. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm saying. Far yeah, from, yeah. yeah. Um, because so, aren't they? They're in New York, and they're just getting back from a trip, right? They're riding a bus over the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're on, are they on their way to the trip in that movie? We don't know. Oh. That's that's yeah. why he – that uh, his theory, and I, some of, I say his, but it might be other people's theory too. Right, right. Is that that bus is them literally traveling from the airport, and it just so happens yeah. that that's when Thanos' uh, army attacks. Right. And so he flips out of the bus and everything. Um, I'm not so sure um, – Kevin was saying like the way he got it was it, it kind of clicked for him is in Far From Home he doesn't have the he's just got I think he's got the shitty suit or a homemade suit right um not sh- I say shitty but the the original suit right um not the Iron Spider not uh, suit anyway and he's like I think it's more of you know Star he's lost Tony Stark he's lost that mentor and after this like it's I think it's going to be more of he's almost given up the superhero game. Like he lost, you know, so he leaves the suit behind. He's not, he's like leaving that part of him. Or it, uh, my, th- I think it could just be he's going on a trip. He's not planning on being Spider Man anyway, so he's not right. taking the fucking suit. I mean, he's going suit. to France. Somebody well, might open his suitcase and see how, why do you have Spider Man suit in your suitcase? So, right, yeah, yeah, it's a little bit weird. So, but either way, like I, both of those I think are possible. Right. I'm, again, I dislike prequels. I like stories moving forward, so I'm leaning, I'm really hoping it is a case of. He's dealing with the loss of um, Tony. Tony. Yeah. A- and the fact that um, it, it, it it's not impossible because, again, he would be coming back. He meets Nick Fury in this movie in France. Nick Fury then would have had to take a plane ride and been back in New York because he's in New York or in some American city when the snap happens at the end of Infinity War. Right, yeah. So it's that's entirely possible, but I'm I think... I, I mean, think it's going to be continued. I think this it, it is the makes, theory dealing with right. the world dealing with half the population being gone for five years. Yeah. And now picking up the pieces. Yeah. So I'm hoping that's kind of why you have new people trying to be heroes. That's probably what the story is going to be behind Mysterio. He's creating. I think he's one of those. He's creating the problem and then fixing it. So he's essentially a fake hero type thing. Right, right. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm hoping that's where it goes. I guess, I, like I said, I I never am a fan of too much of a fan of prequels. Yeah, I, I mean, they're eh. Yeah, it's it's I mean, one of those things where I get so into a story, I want to see where it's going, not necessarily not, this not little where piece it was of it. before it started. Because yeah. it, it it doesn't matter to Infinity War or um, Endgame what Spider Man was doing in New York. It's there's no there's no story continuation. There's no moment where he said. Oh my God! I you know I saw some weird shit and you know last week or oh yeah I, yeah. I, I dealt with this mind it, uh, you it know just does, it just doesn't matter it doesn't no. it really doesn't yeah he's, he didn't there's no reference or anything that call back I, I think uh, we should probably start winding it down now I think we can I need to get home we've hit that. over two hours of total recording <laughs> time and I'm not sure how much longer the uh, video camera is going to last all right. Uh, so you know we hope you guys enjoyed this <laughs> extra long episode that's our thoughts on Endgame. And other stupid shit that happened. Um, yeah. It was a great movie. If you haven't seen it, go see it. If you have seen it, go Why see it again. Why are you listening to this point if you haven't seen it? Yeah, I'm like, what's wrong with you, man? We told you not to listen. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed that. You know, If you want to help us out, support us. You know, share, like, subscribe. Check us out on comment. Twitter. 
Facebook yeah. and um, maybe not Facebook. I don't know. Well, we didn't have an episode, so I haven't missed a week. I'm doing good. Yeah, good right. you, man. <laughs> we don't use the Instagram account, but you can follow it if you want. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, Patreon, if you really yeah. want to support us, you really awesome. want to help us out. You know, go give us a buck on Patreon. Get your name in our credits, and uh, you know, forever. Mm. And uh, you know, you give us an extra bit of money, help us out a little bit. Yeah. So for the ungodly geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. I am inevitable. I am Iron Man. <laughs>